Oh boy, oh boy, we cannot begin to tell you what we have in store for you tonight. I'm gonna give you quick, 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 quick notes right now. Uh, we're gonna have so much going on from Disney, from Paramount. Listen, we're going, for, we're going, we're going last to, we're going last all the way to first. Moana two, Mufasa, Alien Romulus footage, Deadpool, Wolverine, Captain America, Thunderbolts, Kevin Feige, more Disney, more Disney, Sonic the Hedgehog, Smurfs movie, Transformer one, Gladiator two. Five minutes of footage were shown. Extended footage of Quiet Quiet Place. John Krasinski. This is the Latino Slant. And we are at Vegas with Rosa Para. And we're going to get this puppy going. Here we go. Five, four, three, ten. Oh, no. Latino Slant at CinemaCon 2024 is brought to you in part by The Daily Chela. For La Raza. By La Raza, politics, opinions, reviews, y más. TheDailyChela.com CinemaCon 2024 is sponsored in part by the WDW Pro Channel. The quickest growing entertainment news channel on the web with expert analysis on all things Disney and beyond. Check out WDW Pro on YouTube. Excellence in reporting, scoops, analysis, panelists, and more. What a crazy time. What a crazy time. It's the last day of CinemaCon uh, 2024 in Las Vegas. We're so proud going to bring you on in a second. Lots going on. Fletch is going to take over halfway through the show because I got to go to a screening. Civil War. Then tomorrow I am um, helping out Alan Ning because Chris Gore cannot make it. I will be live. Uh, co-hosting on the film thread. Uh, so we're going to be talking about Civil War and CinemaCon 2024. Maybe we can get Rosa on. I don't know if she's driving back uh, tomorrow morning or, so, or algo. But let's bring on the crew because without this crew, none of this would be happening. I'm telling you, none of this would be happening. It takes a it takes a familia. <laughs> it takes a familia. We have Fletcher Williams and the great Rosa Para. What's happening? Calm down, Vin Diesel. <laughs> it's all about fam. So why did you gotta go there? It's all about family. There we go. That's how you say. So it. <laughs> before we start, I heard you got your chilequiles. I did this morning. Man, was that the happiest couple hours in the morning of my life? <laughs> Finally, as I, as I slurped down some some homemade soup. Oh lordy, <laughs> much needed. So yeah. how was it? How were your chilequiles? You know what? They were fantastic. They were really good. I, I was just yearning for the Mexican food. And damn, man, it delivered. They were delicious. <laughs> yeah. Finally, chilaquiles away. Por fin, yes. Con tacita de café. Tacita de café, chilaquiles. Mm -hmm. The conchas are just missing. That's it. Yeah, 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 for sure. So you made it to everything that you wanted to do? I did, man. I, I didn't think it was going to be possible. Because I tend to be very, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not going to lie, I, I, I tend to procrastinate a lot. And if I'm not feeling it, I'd be like, hey, I easily give up. But I don't know, there was something about being here for the first time and uh, pretty much not not wanting to throw away my, my shot. Yeah, I was like, you know what, just push through it. Just... Yeah, I ended up yesterday watching the movie Babes, which I wasn't feeling it at the time. I was like, damn, I'm too exhausted. I've done like gone to three presentations and then i was just gonna end with another screening i got out almost at 11 p.m but oh you know what it was a good movie so Ooh. i guess that also helped out the well, hardcore good. yeah 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 it was hardcore. really good um okay so we're live on youtube right now we are also live via twitter x all that stuff make sure you're sur subscribed and following us as i wipe off my my chin um <laughs> There's a lot going on. I got all the banners ready to go. And, uh, you know, do we have any questions, Fletcher? Are we good for right now? Can we can we begin this? Yeah, let's start this. Let's get it going. I know that uh, 
Uh, yeah. Rosa was in the spirit of the Tarahumara ladies, Raramu runners, and <laughs> he was all, right. all, all the way to go. Boy, uh, is that a Mexican reference or what? The the spirit of the of the Rara, what are they, the Rara Mura? Rara Muri. Rara Muri. Yeah. The, yeah. Okay. Don't 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 get me you're gonna get me on a whole Mexican slant, and that there's already a lot of drama going on with those payasos, not those ladies. Uh, but here we go. John Krasinski shares his two upcoming films, If and A Quiet Place, Day One. Rosa. Yeah, so he sends in a video from London, obviously, and he's just sharing, right, uh, information about the movies, things we already know, we've already seen the trailers and so on and so forth. So he's just there to remind people to go watch If and to go watch A Quiet Place Day One for the most part. There's nothing special about it. It's just him uh, reminding people, hey, go to the theaters, check uh, my films out. He's not directing A Quiet Place, but I think he's in a he's a producer in it, so... But yeah, so how- no, no, nothing, nothing big, nothing much. Like we didn't get, we did get footage from a Quiet Place Day One, um, okay. but for let's, if there was yeah. nothing special. All okay, right, well, let's yeah. talk about Quiet Place Day, Day One because I think that's what my my crowd is more interested in. Kind of, they're kind of interested in if, but right. a Quiet Place Day One, you got extended footage. What did yeah. you get to see? I think we could be a little bad here. Forget the rules. Forget CinemaCon. Because all those big time channels, uh, cabrones with the access, access this, access that, they've been cheating, eh? We've been good. Today's our day to be bad. Come on, Rosa, do it. You know what? I, I, I my, I don't know, man. I, I got integrity, man. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you're messing up um, my card. Damn, man. You're, you're trying to like. No, get you in trouble now. Okay, so what? So uh, (laughs) what can you tell me? Tell us about a quiet place day one. Yeah, so we get a little bit more footage than we uh, what we had already seen in the trailers, Um, and it's just more um, scenes and scenarios and situations where you have a lot of of humanity trying to adapt, trying to figure out what in the world is going on, and trying to pretty much adapt to what. It's going to become their new environment, pretty much. Trying to, and the way they explained it, because Lupita Nyong'o and Joseph Quinn came out to talk a little bit more about it. Um, Wait a minute, Lupita was there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lupita and Joseph Quinn. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> yeah. Could have, would, could have been destiny, Lupita, me and you. Best. Oh, wait, yes, a oh, wait, wait a minute. Sorry, Romy. All right, let's go on. <laughs> Um, and yeah, they talk a little bit about uh, what it's like for one of the most busiest and most noisiest cities in the world, which is New York City, for it to completely be silent. And now that's their new reality and, and what it's like for them to explore that and, and, and so on and so forth. So yeah, we just got a couple more scenes of them just trying to figure things out, trying to try to... Um, realize what what's going on with them and what's going on and with anything and then you do have a couple of 10 suspenseful moments where it, it gets pretty good um i was a big fan of the first one and the second one so to see this prequel of how it started how everything started it's pretty i'm i'm in man i'm on board they got my attention for sure Wait, is it me or you're muted? I might be. Muted. Is there a scene with uh, Jamin Hansu and Lupita? Because uh, I did see him in the, in the trailer. Uh, mm-hmm. get, did we get some some nuggets, some some character there? With who? I'm sorry, Lupita and who? The the was it Jamin Hansu? Oh, um, I don't recall any of that outside of what we saw in the trailer. Okay, so yeah. okay, so uh, okay. Say extended footage. Was there was there a, a good scene of dialogue? That's what I'm. That's what I'm always looking mm-hmm. for. Yes, there there was, um, mm-hmm. but it was more. Well, it's a quiet place. You can't really have a lot of dialogue here. And well, the so, beginning with the beginning, like yeah, yeah, it's yeah, day yeah. one. So uh, yeah. was there any like like who you know who the hell are these aliens? What's going on? 
Yeah, there's a lot of chaos, which is what we get in the trailer. Uh, so what we got more was, hey, let's try to hide. Let's try to find a safe place. But they, I guess, they've already realized, hey, we just have to keep it low, keep it quiet. And there's random things, right? They're trying to get into a building and the door, um, like a rotating door, like something is stuck. But if you push it too hard, it's going to make a noise because it's something that's going to either, it's metal or something like that. So it, it's just the suspenseful moments that we get a little bit more um, trade off. And I said I wasn't going to give anything away, but here we are. <laughs> um, okay. Well, listen, we, I got to pull it out of you. We pull out of you a little bit. Fletcher, any questions? <laughs> yeah. Do you think? Uh... Basically, it was well received in the sense of we needed this to happen or basically the, you know, was there excitement like, okay, this is something that everybody wants to see because, you know, the prequel thing sometimes is like a big thing or sometimes mm -hmm. is a, it's, it's not. But I think what you're saying is that this is a fresh take, meaning it's, this is the beginning of it. This is how everything is going to, you know, pan out. So it's almost like its own thing. Did you feel that or did it feel like a prequel? Mm, it felt interesting. It felt like a little bit of both. It, it did feel like it is part of this world. You, if, if you were to see the film or see the trailer or the footage, like, okay, yes, this is the world of a quiet place, right? The same monsters y todo eso. So it is part of the universe, but it also feels very fresh and very, um, not fresh, como se puede decir? Very new and nuanced per se. Yeah. Because right. yes, this is how it all started. So it is very intriguing to see, all right, well, in the, movies that we see first, like the first one and then the sequel, we see that there's not that many humans um, around. Well, they are, pero no tanto. And, mm -hmm. and to see a very overpopulated city like New York City um, be uh, perhaps the, the, I don't know if it's uh, um, zone zero or something of where all of this takes place, uh, where it just happened globally at the same time and we're just focusing on the city. Um, which now I'm intrigued by, <laughs> but mm -hmm. it, it does bring a very interesting concept of, okay, then how, how do they realize, hey, it is because we are making noise that these um, animals or creatures, whatever, are reacting and they're killing us. Like, what is it about it? Like, what makes them realize that? We don't get specifics that way, like them trying to figure it out, but we do get some scenes in addition to what we see in the trailer of, them at the beginning, all the chaos, and then we get some sequences where you either drop like a cup or you drop something, and then you just randomly get atta get attacked. And I guess that's how you learn. But um, we get more of the okay, you got to be quiet, otherwise you're gonna get murdered, and more of the chaos at the beginning, not so necessarily the realization of it. You don't have to watch the other two to basically get into this one. You can go mm -hmm. boom. Ooh, I can just watch this it. one. Oh, cool, right. Cool. Yeah. Right, that's cool. It. Yeah. Well, see, look, look at, see, that that's great. See, I knew Fletcher to ask the, the right questions. Cool. All right. Well, uh, I'm definitely going to see it because I'm, uh, I'm a huge Lupita fan. Duh. And <laughs> uh, yeah. So that is uh, a quiet place. Day one. Another thing that's pretty exciting, um, depending on who you ask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gladiator 2. Five minutes <laughs> of footage. Ah, you put ah. What was that? Ah, it was like ah. <laughs> oh, ah. I should have put it. Yeah. Well, first of all, you got Paul, Paul like Mescal, and Pedro Pascal. And it's like mm, right, kind of ah. But ah, it, okay, go girl. Like, <laughs> but it was more of a so. So the presentation started. Um, with the, there was like 30, 20 or 30, like Roman gladiators, right. That walk into the, well, obviously where we're sitting at, it's the Coliseum at Caesar's palace, obviously the Coliseum. So the guy that's going to be doing the presentation, he is brought in on a, what is it called? A chariot. Yeah. Um, and with walking down by with 30 Roman, like uh, gladiators, and that entrance was just like fantastic. Like it nearly overshadowed the five minutes of footage that we got for Gladiator 2. That was just fantastic, phenomenal. I absolutely loved it. 
And then obviously he gets off and then he gets on stage. He's like, aren't you not entertained? Well, no, not yet. We're just starting. But it, they were already giving us um, a lot of, of hints of what we what were um, what to expect for the promotion pretty much of Gladiator 2. And then they said, yeah, that they were going to give us five minutes. And man, it's just like you were just transported back. It, it's the same world. It, it, it's, it's all it's the brutality of it all. And okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, because mm-hmm. I have so many questions, Fletcher. Um, <laughs> they did the goofy Vegas intro with the with the you know with goofy the, the solid go dancer coming in. That's very Vegas. I don't care about that. I want to know about the footage. I want to know about the relationships, the characters. Pedro Pascal, Paul Mescal, whatever his name is. When is this set? Ten years after what's going on with Russell Crowe? Is it? You know, do they talk about him? What's with the Commodus Maximus and all them, all them crazy vatos from Athens, Georgia? I don't know what because I'm going out of my mind because we haven't had a trailer and you get five minutes of footage and I can't believe I'm not there. You should have come. Hey, hey, I'm paying the bills. <laughs> I'm paying the bills, mujer. <laughs> yeah. I, I love your passion. I Literally, love it. tell me. <laughs> Tell me what you can about the. Uh, did you actually see these two gentlemen? Do you like movies about gladiators? See them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little airplane joke there. Tell me about them. Did you buy them being in that world? I did. And. Yes, you see a lot of footage of, of them here. Uh, the, the In fact, the clips that we were watching, like it ends with Paul Mescal and Pedro Pascal just going at it and just, oh my God. It, really? It's just very action packed. Yes, it, it's just like you're just getting um, right into the world. And so, it, do we, uh, you're saying they fight each other. Mm-hmm. Are they. Is it is it established from what you saw that they one's a good guy, one's a bad guy? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's Paul Mescal is kind of like the the Russell Crowe character, and then you have Pedro Pascal, who's going to be the um, the gladiator of the of the villain per se. Um, why why believe... going to be a Latino bad guy in 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 in, in pinche gladiator times? It's gladiator times, dude. Really, <laughs> it's man. Gladiators. That's what happens. No way. No, I don't want no, you know, Chilean bad guy. Fletcher. Fletcher has tons of questions about this. Go. All right. So basically, do we have an established storyline or timeline? I believe for the timeline, if I'm not mistaken, because we get, um, I have her name in my head. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out now. Get it out. Sana Damn. Sana Colita de Gladiator. <laughs> sana Sana Colita. Connie <laughs> Nielsen. She's in the movie. No way. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's all, in the there movie. you go. Oh there God, you go. Um, yeah. I, if I'm not mistaken, though, I believe it does take place either 20 or 30 years after the original one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, all yeah, right. From my understanding, yeah. And although we do get a, a, a Pedro Pascal and a, and a Paul Mesco, they have similar names. I, I'm like, Oh, I'm afraid I'm gonna mix them up. I think the person who runs away with the film, the one that just captured my attention and the one that stuck with me, was Joseph Quinn. He plays this like maniacal, just like yeah, I'm assuming kind of like the the Joaquin Phoenix character, similarly oh, okay. in, in that in that okay. um, realm. But man, was he just like enjoying and he had this like creepy ass look in his eyes and it was Ooh. just like oh my god this okay. guy was just he just stuck with me and i was like whoa this this is gonna be interesting um and i mean yeah i watched gladiator a couple uh back when i was young and then i rewatched it again a few actually a few months ago so i'm not a big aficionado a big fan of the uh, of the movie or anything like that but this film certainly looks like it's gonna be epic dude like so you were yes for sure all right so but do we feel like when where's dan cell come into this you know what what part does he have do we know where does uh what i'm sorry dan cell denzel denzel is um he's kind of like the 
advising or trying to play like manipulate the Paul Mescal character oh, here and there. Oh, really? So it's kind yes. of like a, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh. he he looks pretty good too um, in, in the movie on whatever it is that we saw. <laughs> so it's interesting because, you know, uh, we're, we're, we're getting some information on the characters on the world because we would think like it's a bad move, Gladiator 2. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, were were you get were you did you have that feeling before you saw any of the any of the footage that it was a bad move to make uh to make a sequel? Correct. No, I thought everybody was excited about it. Um, there, I mean, I think there is, but I think there's also mm -hmm. that crowd that was like, God, another pinche remake. Mm, I see, I see. Or you know, another sequel. You know, like you know, it's all about. The IP, what are we doing here? What's going on? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Well, but, I mean. Go ahead. I mean, it was well received uh, from what I understood, from what I saw and heard. Um, well, again, I was in the little press area, right? So there's like, I'm surrounded by film critics and journalists. And their reaction to the footage was quite positive, from mm -hmm. what I heard again. Um, and then, yeah, you see some of the reactions on the trades, whether it's Variety Hollywood Reporter, which is quite positive, overwhelmingly positive as well. So, yeah, it, it, it's, I can see why people are tired of sequels and franchises. But this looks, this looks very, very promising. Um, Fletcher, are you yeah. excited to see this now after hearing uh, Ro Rosa's description? <laughs> you know, I, I guess uh, it was cool just to know that Denzel was involved, that to me was kind of like the selling point because we have like a family rule, you know? It's mm -hmm. like every Denzel movie we have to go see. Um, Denzel! To support. Yeah, pretty much. It's like literally. You got to say it like that. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I'm going to go see Equalizer 3 <laughs> with Denzel! <laughs> you didn't answer but, my uh, question. Are you more excited to see this now that you heard from Rosa Pata? Yes or no? I... I I was excited to hear about it, you know, once I knew the dance hall was attached. Um, now, I guess I'm, I'm I'm intrigued more because now it seems like maybe they're, they're doing a good job with it. Um, okay. Do, do, I, I think the, the only thing that um, I'm, I guess I'm, I, I, I guess I don't know what, what the story, because it, uh, to me, it seemed like the gladiator, because if this is set like after all this, it looked like they were trying to, uh, you know, like they already eradicated the the Colosseum. So it's like, a, were they bringing back the Colosseum? Is this after like another Roman emperor and stuff like that? So I'm like, ooh, you know, so so part of it is like, you know, like history intrigued. Right. right. But part of Gladiator also, too, was always kind of like, you know, who's going to win, you know, democracy or, or a monarch, you know, maybe they'll mess around. No, no one, Ridley Scott, pinche. Ridley Scott historian, he's gonna mess around with uh, Roman history. People will be like, "What? What? We got a gladiator going on again? What? What? You know?" You know I mean, yeah, hey, like, if Godzilla could after... sleep in the Colosseum, we could have Pedro Pascal back in the Colosseum. Tired of all this hate. God Godzilla comes and takes a break and kills everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just lays down. That's what he yeah. was, you know. It's like now we know. He just lays down. <laughs> Where was, he just where was laid Godzilla? Down. That would make now it's even more epic. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying, the, dude. All of a sudden, Godzilla pops up. It's dude, like, that's well, what I'm saying. Yeah, come out, G. Look, G. It. Joe, you Look know? it. Look <laughs> it. Godzilla versus, Smurfs and then, you know, yeah. dot, dot, dot. Did you ever the do that? Gladiators. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Godzilla versus, yeah. you know, Cheech and Chong. Godzilla versus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Okay. But in yeah. all in all in all good fun, this looks amazing. You're saying, dude, it does. It really does. It lo it looks very very on par with the first film in terms oh, wow. of its of its of its fighting sequences and 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 so on. I mean, you got rhinos in here, and you have creatures. And um, okay, I wasn't entirely sure. I mean, you can go to another um, outlet and get right. ver some verification, but there was water in the Colosseum, if I'm not mistaken, at yeah. some point with right. animals in it. 
Yeah. Um, so it, that part was pretty intriguing to, to see and how that um, what came to be. So oh, that's fun. Well, you, yeah. you they gave you a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, everyone. Oh. We're on Twitter. We're on YouTube. You guys you all better be subscribed, all that good stuff. A mm -hmm. um, couple of uh, comments really quick. Bonzo, if you don't show positive reaction to the project of CinemaCon, do they let you come back next year? <laughs> I don't know. I, well, we'll find out because we'll I find have a quite negative <laughs> one coming up for the Disney part of it. Whoa! Whoa. At least the end. They probably, you know, they, yeah. why, why, watch they try to like block Rosa next yeah. next year. We'll she plays out. up. She played like you. But hey, when you go there, you better like have a sombrero on and a, you know, like like yeah. I want you to go real Mexican when you're walking <laughs> into there. Like sarape, you know. Sarape. Yeah. Oh, like, carry around I... your molcajete, like yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bring your chilequiles. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> all the time they're gonna get her. They're uh, not gonna senor, go like, hey, I, you I, know what? I, in the she, buffet, we have chilaquiles now. No, you're like, this is her walking. Senor, I want to watch a Disney again this year. <laughs> I had last time very bad reactions to your Disney Wolverine, mm -hmm. but now please let me back in. Thank you, Indiana Jones. <laughs> Indiana Jones. <laughs> With my trencitas, right? With yeah. the three, yeah. And <laughs> Yeah. All right. Right. visualizing it so that, that that's your that's your quite that's your answer there bone so man you got like yeah. a super chat's worth of a of an answer there bone so what's up what's up with that <laughs> we got paypal we got super chat come on you cheap yeah. bastards cough it up oh wow <laughs> i love you bone so oh wow well, malwinius cyrano of Olf, olfram from york wow what a name <laughs> Gladiator was an epic story that began, had a beginning and an end. What is there to add? Hollywood. 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 Damn. Hollywood. That's all I got, Malwinius. You you initially asked if there was any references to the uh, previous characters. And yes. so that's when I mentioned Connie Nielsen's coming back. Um, no. Well, I mean, she's in the trailers. Um but there is an infamous quote that, that it is repeated that was said by the um, by what's his name Maximus I'm assuming and then it's repeated by Paul Mescal. And when we every time we walk into the Caesar's Palace, right, um, there was always this, this gladiator to um, a po banner poster that said, "What we do in life echoes in eternity." And I think that is what you have to add for the sequel. Okay, there you go, Melvinius. Melvinius, Melvinius. Sander, so in the original, we got an Australian playing a Spaniard. Now we have a Spaniard playing an Australian. Ba -dum -bum. Hell, that deserves the big bigote. Hey -oh. Actually, some lowrider, Star Wars style. The go, the go, rider. A hell yeah hell yeah i think uh, yeah you know what we should do our own cinema con like chicano con and then we just like are just making our own flavor to it what do you say Ch yeah. chicano con chilequile con chilequile con <laughs> <laughs> wow Wow, man, I gotta go. This sucks. What? Oh, 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 it's fine. Fletcher it's fine. and I got this. You're like, Vete. are you this. okay? So, you are you. I talked to a nerd Roddick. Um, you are on the list to go to the Millennium Bar tonight to see to go to their meetup. Oh, and I land. Okay, if you're interested, uh, the people from Film Third, all kinds of crazy locals will be there. Also, too, I don't know where you're going to be tomorrow morning uh, if you wanted to jump on the Film Threat with me and uh, Alan Ning. So uh, mm. let me know. Let me know. Yeah. I'll text you. Um, okay, Fletcher. All right. So I think we got uh, this one coming out right now. You got, you got this, brother. Um, actually, uh, so let's skip to this one. Right. And I got a photo really quick, and you can take okay. it down afterwards. Um, all right, I'll see you guys later. All right. Bye. Okay. 
All right, let's do this, Fletcher. It's the chilaquile takeover. Oh. Back. Get out of okay. here, fool. We're taking over. <laughs> All right. So, Rosen, so I guess uh, what's coming up in what did you know about? I guess this is the Transformer side, right? Yes. Yeah, so when we were walking into the um, the presentation, they were giving us all 3D glasses. <laughs> and we were like, why in the world are you handing us 3D glasses? And then we were informed that one of the upcoming um, animated movies, actually, it's going to be Transformers 1. And this is um, releasing, when did they say? September. I uh, didn't, I'm not sure what date. Um, I didn't write it down. But oh yeah, like we see in the picture, okay. it's going to be, for the most part, it follows a young Optimus Prime, young Megatron um, Optimus Prime is going to be voiced by Chris Hemsworth, and young Megatron is going to be voiced by Brian Tyree Henry. And yeah, they both came out and they started talking a little bit about the, um, the movie and how they came about. And um, apparently Scarlett Johansson is also going to be vo uh, voice in this movie. And it's about young Optimus Prime and even young Megatron. But before they were they were even called Optimus Prime and Megatron. So this is them being very, very, very young. And the, the animation looks pretty pretty good, um, to be honest with you. They gave us a little clip, uh, probably like a three, four minute clip about uh, the movie and it was pretty interesting. And then they gave us like another four or five minute clip, but in 3D and damn, that looked pretty good. <laughs> it really, 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 really good. And I'm pretty sure they oh, wow. specifically selected a scene for, for that 3D sequence, but oh man, it looked very great. Yeah, I guess they haven't posted anything yet, but I guess mm -hmm. it's the original set story of Cybertron, I guess, of mm -hmm. uh, the Autobots and the Decepticons. Uh, yeah, okay, so 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 Optimus Prime and Megatrons were buddies before yeah. they were enemies. <laughs> yeah, it never fails, right? That, that's how you become enemies, when you're friends, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and what? so is this something that maybe you would, bring the kiddos to or or is this something that you know you you think it's mm -hmm. it's gonna draw any excitement or you feel that it's one of those things where they're just releasing something that's eh, that hopefully will get some attention or is it gonna be like a mega blast all right so at somebody that kind of similar to to gladiator um somebody who mm -hmm. comes into this presentation not necessarily being the biggest fan of transformers not saying i'm not the biggest fan because i don't like them rather than i'm just not the big fan because i don't i haven't seen the other all of the films i haven't seen i've seen the most recent ones um and i watched the the first one with child above but i haven't seen like any uh, I'm assuming there was animated shows, if I'm not mistaken. Um, get obviously I haven't seen, so I don't have a lot of familiarity or nostalgic um, connections to this franchise per se. So even as somebody like me who's coming mm -hmm. at this with very not the best of connections or nostalgic um, ropes to pull, I was quite intrigued right. by it. But those sequences, those clips mm -hmm. that they showed us, I was like, hey, you know what? I, I find that this along with some of the animated movies that they showed us throughout the entirety of CinemaCon I'm like, I'm pretty sure these are going to be probably up for Academy Awards next year. Porque they, oh, wow. they're very well done and they're very, um, very intriguing and entertaining. So look at us and say what, what they showed us for this movie. It was compelling enough for me to even be slightly intrigued by it. Okay. So, so you feel yeah. that the, who else is involved in this? Do you know who else is involved in this? I know that. Uh, being in animation, you said that Scarlett Johansson was also playing one of the voices. Mm -hmm. Is there any yeah. big stars also that you know you can drop or? Uh, I'm not sure. I would have to double check on that porque the only ones that I caught was Scarlett Johansson, Chris Hemsworth, and Brian uh, 
Tyreen Henry. Pero I'm pretty sure um, there there's more. And like you said, you can't really we can't search it up as much but right. there isn't there isn't yeah, much there's out not there. Yeah, much, right? Yeah. So this one they're they're sneaking it in. Do, do we know when it's going to yeah. be released or is it in the I fall don't have an exact date, but I know it's going to be in September. That's all they gave it, us. It was And you September. saw a clip of this, right? Mm -hmm. Two clips, yeah, one 2D and oh, another one clips. in 3D. Okay. Oh, apparently September oh. 13th. Oh, oh, cool. So it's released September 13th, guys. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, put uh, put that on your checklist on that. How was the 3D, uh, you know, animation and stuff? Because I know mm -hmm. it's you know it's harder sometimes with a room with a lot of people. I know that probably don't have the lights really low or anything. But how's mm -hmm. the 3D? Was it, you know, oh, dude, worth it, it to good. go on 3D or wait? Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Yes, they, they knew what they were doing with that, man. Um, so was... this could be like a breakout sleeper. This could be like a, you know, like a Ninja Turtle kind of sleeper to where, you know, nobody see it coming. Oh, yeah, for sure. I can see that. Um, wow. And apparently, okay, so I have voice talents. It's Keegan Michael K and Steve Buscemi and... Lawrence oh, wow. Fishburne and John Hamm. I believe Keegan Michael Kay is gonna voice Bumblebee, if I'm not mistaken. A young wow. <laughs> yeah. man, that that's a star lineup. And if the it 3D is. is awesome, man, yeah, guys, let us know much. what you guys think of it. And yeah, it looks like it's gonna be fun. All right, yeah. so uh yeah. wrapping that one up, moving on to the next one. We got a preview of Universal Focus uh, presentation on Neon Babe screening. Um, so that the neon babes, oh, mm -hmm. that was yesterday. All right, so mm -hmm. we got that one. No, we get out, mm -hmm. get out of that one. Boo, yes. All right, <laughs> okay. So now we got this one Smurfs animated film, which uh started now. The solo Maridonia, yeah. How well, for the time? Universal Focus features, you can go to the website. I've written a whole article about it if you want more info. Um, sorry, I interrupted you. No, no, you're fine. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about this one? Yeah, you know what? This one was, so when the guy was making a, a presentation, he was just going through all these movies that they were going to be being released. Um, um, animated movies, they took a little bit more time on the Transformers one, because I'm assuming it's coming right. out or, um, later this year. But right. oh yeah, they announced uh, the Smurfs movie. They gave us a little... Um, uh, a, a little poster, a little sign of who's going to be in the voice cast. And obviously the person that popped out of me was Cholo Maridaña, right? But right. Uh, yeah, the, the rest of the cast, I believe it's like Sandra O, oh, Billy Lord, Kurt Russell, James Corden, um, Nick Offerman, John Goodman, Natasha Leon, Octavia oh, wow. Spencer. So another star star cast. Um, oh my gosh, in, yeah. in this so they're breaking but, out all the people. Yeah, but yeah, they didn't give us any plots or any nothing about it when it's going to be released. It's more of a, hey, we've greenlit this movie, greenlit, sorry, the film. Uh, this is going to, who's going to be part of it, and that's it. But oh, I just wanted to be like, hey, Cholo Magdalena is still around. <laughs> oh, wow. As so well, they have Rihanna. Um, it's, it's, do you know who yeah. she's playing, or do we know? Or no, I don't don't know she might be actually yeah, yeah. but because okay yeah. so hollywood report is saying that it's set um uh, so rihanna dave bautista eric now mm -hmm. um so i guess he's i guess the one who did the air air, air bender it's right. gonna be i guess you said nick overman uh natasha um, yeah. but like i said the one we were interested in is uh is sholo um and yeah. do we know what he's doing or no, I, no, not yet. Not that I'm aware it's, of. It uh, gave a list of the actors who were part of it. In fact, they were making fun of it, right? Because they had the banner out there, and they're like, "Yeah," and everybody else that's part of SAG. And I'm like, "All right, there we go." <laughs> so it's like, la 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 la. We're not gonna tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're <laughs> a bit slightly secretive about it, and yeah, like after that, so. 
um, animation uh, came out and um, the person in charge of animation. And he talked about Smurfs. He spent no more than one or two minutes on it. And then he announced a SpongeBob movie search um, for SquarePants. Again, no details, just saying, hey, these are going to be made. Keep an eye on them. As well as Aang, um, The Last Airbender also coming to theaters and that was it so they didn't give us enough details they were just like hey just keep an eye out for these this is what we're gonna be um bringing to you guys like 2025 2026. okay yeah so it says february 2025 on that one yeah. but it looks like it starts started again uh did you get any visuals on it or that were no. that caught, anything that caught you out in the visuals it was just no. like no, no, or they were just announcing. Yeah, they're just I cheap know. on the cheap on the that stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. how you are, man. See, the first it's like uh, the tease, just, right? They're just like, hey, what you doing? You know, you got yeah. your lucky eyes, and they're like, yeah, well, why don't you come see our movie? All right, so uh, next one, I guess, uh, Interstellar will be re releasing theaters this fall, including various yeah. formats. Now, what does that mean, uh, various formats? Yeah, I think they're going to release, re-release it in IMAX and in 70 millimeter. Um, oh, they wow. Said they, in, in terms of they're going to celebrate its anniversary, I'm assuming. So they're going to okay. be re-releasing it in the theaters this fall. Okay. Anything mm -hmm. about that that, you know, you know, different or, mm -hmm. I mean, do we have anything else as part of? No. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Um, they just made sure uh, we knew that it was going to get a re-release um, this fall. So that's it. You know what, Interstellar, I think it's one of those movies that I, if you haven't seen it on the big screen, <laughs> I think it's you one of those films it, right? that deserves to be seen uh, in the mm. biggest screen possible. And if they're going to be offering it in IMAX and 70 millimeter. What better way to watch a? I mean, come on, it's a Christopher Nolan film, so a, what All a better right. way. You to hear it her. It. You mm -hmm. hear it her first, folks. If you don't watch it, Rosa says you're square. All right. I, correct. That's it. Yes. That's just she, she supports that statement. All right, now <laughs> now we're getting to the good stuff. Forget about oh. award winning, you know, best of the best, you know, great director, super scream. This is this is this is gonna blow everybody away. This is what Rosa was super excited for. She was cheering on. She ran to the to the theater just to know when what things were happening here. This dish, Sonic yeah. had caught three release December. We got preview trailer. What? Yeah. That's right, guys. What you think about that? Huh? It's dropping the heat. Yes, forget everything else we just talked about. Forget this is the, this is your your meal. Everything else are just appetizers. Um, yeah, no, we we just got a couple of. Apparently, they just finished um, filming. They just wrapped filming in this movie, and yeah, release date for December twenty twenty four. And yeah, they gave us a little look at Shadow uh, and and how he looks on on the screen. And yeah, we have. Um, the Sonic and we have the other characters come back. We get a little, we get a bit more footage from um, Jim Carrey's character because okay. I guess they're still working on the animation aspect of it all. So we just get a few right. glimpses and clips here and there of, of, of Sonic and Shadow. But we got a good look of Shadow and that little fella looks intimidating. Um, I mean, my kid, my, my one of my kids and my second one, she is a big fan of the Sonic films. And I told her, hey, we just got a little glimpse of Sonic 3, and she was losing her brain. She was so, losing it, right? She was losing it. Seriously, she was. Because she, I mean, look, a big he fan looks like he's ready to throw down. Like, you know, it's like he's got his chilaquilas early, you know? He so did. he's yeah. ready to go. It, it does look, really it looks good. fun. Yeah. yeah. So you're saying that because this is a mixture of the CGI live action and stuff like the other right. films. Right. Um, and, and it, it, you know, these have been really great and giving like, you know, fans kind of what they want, you know, they were, yeah. I, I remember earlier on when they had problems with the design of Sonic and, you know, they went and, you know, listened to some of the fans and change it up a bit. And they just kind of kept like this going, just honoring the, the, the characters and really giving them what they want. And, 
and this is a hit for kids. You see this, this is, is this going to be like a super hit, Rosa, for what you see? I hope so. I mean, I mean, I know it's in your household. It's going to be awesome. Right. right. You're going to yeah, have to sure. go. You, you have to go. There's no question. Yeah, right? I'm already, whether I like it or not, I'm going to have to take the kiddos either way. Um, right. And I know y'all, when I say kiddos, I know y'all may be thinking, oh my gosh, he has a five and a six year old. No, 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 no. These are like 15, 16, 12, 13 year olds <laughs> that are oh, no. massively invested in this franchise and they just love it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go watch it either way. But uh, from what I've seen, like the, the, the character and then the, the design, it looks pretty bad. So I know we got a little clip, a little glimpse of it at the end of the second movie. Um, but oh, dude, here he looks really good. So it's, it's going to really honor the fans. It's really going to really capitalize on it. Um, mm -hmm. Do we know anything else about this? I mean, do, do we, we have a release date or anything like that? Or yeah, any added just, voice no. actors or actors? Mm -hmm. No, I think everybody else is coming back. Uh, everybody else that's been okay. involved, like Idris Elba and, and um, James Martin and everybody. But they did mention Christmas holiday week. So I'm assuming that's when it's going to be releasing towards the end of mm -hmm. December. Um, but they just told us December this year. Okay. Yeah. So this is almost like a must see, right? This is, this is going to be one of those, like, is it, is it going to reach a, like a billion in your thing? What, what would you say this, this, oh. this movie makes? 800, 900? I don't know. How much have the other ones made? I don't even know how much oh, the other right. ones have made. Let's see. How much get... The thing is, they just showed us clips. It was mostly just we were just seeing the Jim Carrey character, and they tell him, "Oh yes, we found him," and he was apparently not taking care of himself, and he was just growing this beard and the long hair. And mm -hmm. I'm no, I'm giving away here. Oh well, whatever. He <laughs> he just That's spends good. like majority of the of the clip just shaving everything off and just leaving the mustache on. And that's oh, wow. it. We just from that we just go to a clip of the of Sonic and um I forget the name of the other two ones. Um but oh yeah, the one that's voiced by Idris Elba and then the the other one and then looking at Shadow and Shadow's just like powering up and everything. And that's Lord. all we got. So we don't we don't get a plot. We don't get anything of oh yeah, expect this. So whatever. it looked like the the first Sonic uh, was a budget of ninety million, which is it's nothing, right? Um, mm -hmm. And uh, but it did make uh, I guess like one hundred forty nine domestic, over three hundred million worldwide. And the second one, same budget. Um, so it looks mm -hmm. like they're really keeping these budget tight, uh, which yeah. that's gonna because that one you know, made almost uh, over a over hundred uh, thousand worldwide, uh, I, I mean, a uh, hundred million worldwide. So it, it did over 400 million mm. worldwide. Um, so these, these two are there, they're the, both of them made almost 800 million worldwide, uh, like 700 million worldwide. So mm -hmm. this, uh, it's, it's something that, uh, I think uh, everybody should be on the lookout for. I mean, let us yeah. know, Chad. Are you excited? And then those catching on the replay, like, leave us a comment and let us know what uh, what um, what you guys think about it. Also, don't forget Rosa we got right here. She is part mm -hmm. of the latinoslant.com. And if you can, go and subscribe. We really want to get uh, over 1,000 uh, new subscribers on the site. It is free, and we don't sell your information. And you get awesome stuff all the time, like the exclusive reviews from Rosa Para. Para. <laughs> all right. So it's late, Rosa. It's late. It's late over here. It's late over here. It's late in the East Where were you? Where you based? I'm at I'm at I'm at Illinois. I'm in the Chicago area. So, so I'm like, okay, we'll make it quick. <laughs> no, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah. So okay. So we got Smile Two. Um, releases October 8, and we saw a trailer starring Naomi Cotton. Now, tell me a little bit about this because I have no clue what even Smile is. Yeah, so Smile, I didn't see it because I'm a very big um, scary cat, so I don't watch a lot of those movies that I know are going to be 
um, if they're going to traumatize me, i rather not. It took me like nearly 20. I just watched The Exorcist like two, three years ago for the very first time because I've been avoiding Rose that film forever. <laughs> Rose is like, I got enough trauma from just being hey. Latinas, you know. And you know what? So being, I, don't, being, I don't need extra. <laughs> I do not. And you know what? The Exorcist thing. It all had to do because, you know, I was raised Catholic. So that thing was just haunting. And my mother will use it, you know, to further traumatize me. Si no te portas bien, te va a pasar eso. And I'm like, oh, no manches. So I never no wanted manches. to see it. Um, anywho, so, yeah, Smile. I saw the trailer for the first movie. I said, nope, I'm not going to watch this. So I saw the trailer for this movie. And I am once again saying, me personally, I'm not going to see it. Not because it looks bad or not because it's poorly done or anything like that it's because i'm genuinely scared and that should tell you wow. something that's probably well done right um so yes we have naomi scott who plays a famous musician a famous singer and uh, smile um apparently it's a. Uh, again i haven't seen the first one so i'm not entirely sure what the what the whole story or the plot is here but apparently right, yeah. whatever it is, uh, whatever it was a disease or something, um, it becomes contagious and it spreads out um, amongst her fans in the concerts. And so she's oh. trying to interact with some fans and she's, she's trying to sign autographs. And then somebody, a little girl comes up to her, but she's just smiling creepily, right? And it, it's just, that thing was just horrifying to look at. I'm genuinely scared. That's why I'm not gonna see it. Um, but if, if you're good, if you love the first one, I'm pretty sure this is going to be right down your alley. Oh my gosh! So yeah, so yeah, it does. Even like looking at stuff, I try to. I was trying to bring it up, but of course, my computer, because <laughs> my computer's good. It's a good Catholic computer, so it's like Correct. it's not. It's not allowing me to bring that crap up. It looks creepy. Even your heck. computer knows and what's good. Man. Even the computer knows what's up. It's like no, 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 no. No, no, no. Hey, and it, it, it I'm doesn't... gonna have to throw uh, Agua Santita on it later on. So, <laughs> <laughs> but but um, it does look like uh, it's kind of like the fear gas, like like uh, you know, like the Joker gas or something. You know, like right? Mm. I guess it's, it's something similar to that. I don't know, yeah. Chad. You guys know anything about this movie? Uh, this is this one. I guess has got us both because you know I uh, had, I think we were we're running into. The Catholicism, the Catholicism blocks of horror <laughs> movies that, yeah, no vas a ver esa porquería en la casa. Okay, so mm. that's uh, our smile to, uh, you know, part of it because, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we both, uh, we're on, who knows on this one. All right, so we're going to the next one. Uh, we go in, we got a, did it go up? One, two, hey, go away. All right. Oh, there you go. See, I fixed it. Oh, uh -oh. The strangers just oh, yes, yeah, the no, smile right? thing, trying to, trying to. Yeah, no, see, it's a, it's a look at that's what okay. happens. Okay, that's that's a cielito. No, 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 no. no. no Hail Mary for the grace of the Lord with you, Miss. Women and blessed. No, I'm a new father, no, it's very difficult. Santificado, say your number. Okay, so we're, we're good now. All right, here we go. All right, Rosa, you, you got it, you know? So I have my wife praying in the background. Okay, cool. Good. So, oh, that's the ticker banner. That's what I was getting confused. So if you see the ticker, it had the ticker banner, and I was like, ah. I got it. I got it now. Ah, see? Someone, 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 expert. Ha ha. Poor Polly's probably listening. Like, what are they doing to my show? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, so let's see. Disney's. So we got 13 minutes of footage for uh, Kingdom of the Planets of the Apes. How yeah. was that? that? That looks fun, right? You know what? I was not going to go see it, to be honest with you, just because it was not on my radar. Um, I mean, I know it's coming out and, and, and all that, but it's not something I actively would go out and, and watch. Um, it, when it comes to movies, I'm very, um, I can say picky when it, when it comes like, I'm not going to watch Mile for sure. 
so I, I don't watch movies, perhaps like Planet of the Apes, just because it's just, I'd rather watch something else. My time is very limited. I have two jobs and I have four kids and I have school. So I have to be very particular when I go watch something or I go um, to the movie mm-hmm. theater. So Planet of the Apes was something that I was not going to go see. I was genuinely going to wait for it to be on streaming. However, <laughs> those 13 wow. minutes of footage they gave us was man you know what it, it's quite it's quite good man it, it definitely um sparked my interest in seeking it out and seeing it in the theater because the visuals are stunning they're very beautiful mm. um the the que se llama? right i know i have my the cgi <laughs> or the- yeah definitely it's it's the cgi pero también it's the nature landscape that's just so mm. gorgeous and so beautiful um, and uh, yeah, it follows it follows uh, three characters, and then they're going out there to um, get something. I'm, I'm gonna be as vague as possible because I don't want to spoil okay. anything again. E- and then you just see them going out there and 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 realizing that okay, so I'm gonna give you a few details. So they're going out okay. there to get some eggs, some bird eggs, right, from a nest that's like right on top of certain. Um, a cliff or some rocks e, they're going up there and there's three eggs in the nest and they're like hey how should we take them all should we do this should we do that and they're like no we always leave one you know that's the rule so they take two webbles right. and and then they're climbing down they're trying to climb down they're trying to get away but then the third um chimp monkey finds another nest elsewhere that's farther away so he tries to go over there and and climbs up there and it was interesting <laughs> to say the least um how it, all that develops and but oh they started having a conversation they're saying no we're gonna raise this one to to we're gonna take care of this we're gonna take care of that I'm thinking they're doing something else with these eggs. And now I'm more intrigued to see, okay, now what the fuck are they going to do with the eggs? <laughs> right. And right. But it, it's the visuals and the scope of it all. It, it, it looks very, very, um, the CG looks, it looks very stellar and crisp, like pristine <laughs> kind of looking to the, to the point where. Are you I trying would to actually... say pristine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. It, it looks so good that I would genuinely feel bad if I stay home and watch this on my TV or if I watch it on my phone. Wow. So I'm like, okay. you know what? I have to see this on the big screen. And then, yeah, they gave us another clip, another footage of uh, um, what happens for one of these characters, what happens to them or, or their family or community that makes them go or travel or take a journey to avenge okay. what happened to his family or community or something. Um, I'll, I'll leave that part vague. But, oh, man, it was it was really good. That's cool. I think I only watched the, the first one. I think I was mm. trying to watch part of the second one because I think this is the third one, right? I don't know. I thought this was a new, a whole new thing. Porque okay, so this we... is a whole new thing. This is like a, a prequel or a pre-start or something I like that. I think it is a pre-Caesar thingy. Oh, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and, and I know anybody, we don't want to get anybody in trouble. If your preferred, you know, saying is Simeon, we understand. So just let us know. If you prefer ape or Simeon, we're, we're fine here in the slack. We're, we're fully versed on all conversation, anti lucky lies. But do you do you feel that this is something that maybe everybody can? So I think you're saying that anybody can come into this without having to see anything. You don't have the baggage. This is, boom, you start. Right. You're starting off fresh. Correct. Yeah. Oh wow! 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 wow. That's what it looked cool, like. Cool, yeah. Cool. Something you're mm-hmm. gonna take the kiddos to, or you think you'll check it out first just to make sure? Yeah, I'll check it out first. Uh, I know the teenager should be fine with it. It's just maybe my my ten Youngest. year old that might yeah. be a little yeah, probably the youngest. Yeah, because they can get pretty, you know, a little violent a, a little bit there. Right. right? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, but it does look. Uh, I did check out the 
trailer for it. It does look good. Um, and it's a so far, it looks like it's a big recommend from a yeah. Rosa just on what she saw. So let us know, chat. Are you guys uh, going to check it out? Uh, is this something that uh, you're going to go see? Let us know uh, below. I guess uh, the one that's coming up next, because we got production here. All right. So here we go. Mm -hmm. right, that's right. Adjust. Adjust it. You need, you need to sip some water, Rosa. Are you good? There I'm go. good for now. Some water. All right. Good. Hydrate. <laughs> Gotta hydrate. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Then next one, you got the woman. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta hydrate. Um, we got the woman by the sea and Rosa by the water. So, what do you think about this? Can you tell us I'll a little honest. bit about it? I've I haven't heard anything about this. So I hadn't either. Um, they showed us the trailer. They told us it was going to be released on May 31st, so next month. Oh, wow. Um, and apparently it follows the woman who was the, who the first woman to swim across the English Channel. And it's starring oh. Daisy Ridley uh, wow. in the titular role. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the trailer just came out. As soon as they showed it to us, within a few minutes, it was already made public. So, yeah, go check out the trailer. Um, it looked pretty intriguing. It looked very interesting to me. And, but yeah, based on a true story, and it looks like it's going to be one of those inspirational, feel good stories um, about, you know, defying, <laughs> um, challenging and, and, and kind of um, challenging yourself and then always trying to prove others that, hey, you, you can do it. And if you set your mind to it and determine to accomplish this this goal, you're you're gonna do it regardless of what others tell you, whether they're families or whether they're like powerful people, politicians, wherever they are. Um, it seems like it's 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 gonna be a good movie. I guess it's but it's it Disney's amazing, answer right? to Nyad, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, those that's yeah. Ooh, ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> it looks good though. Yeah, this, it, it, looks it, good. Looks, it looks really good. I mean, the special effects mm -hmm. look amazing. The costumes look great. Do you, did you see this maybe as Daisy's like, you know, coming back into the scene? Um, sort of like, yeah, like hear me roar type deal? Or mm -hmm. you think this is a performance that, that is any kind of award, uh, you know, worthy or, you know, just okay in your eyes? Yeah, I think it's just okay uh, from what I saw on the trailer. Uh, mm -hmm. In terms of Daisy Ridley as an actress, I think she gives a very subtle and very um, compelling performance, in, uh, and she's just very, just very like introverted, just very, so she does a lot of her acting like facially, body language and so on. So that performance is the one that stuck with me the most. But I don't know if it's been released yet. I have to check that out because I remember somebody acquired the rights to the movie, but I don't know if it's oh. been released or not. Okay, so, so yeah. this is something that, uh, you know, but this is Disney putting it out, correct? Yeah, Disney's putting this one out, and yeah, they want you to go seek it out at um, at the theaters, and it looked pretty interesting. Hmm. Yeah, very, very interesting. Okay. All right, good. So this is one, something that you might definitely go check out? Yeah, that one I probably will, yeah. Okay. Sure. I mean, definitely. I think uh, it's one of those things that it's really uh, – pushing, you know, all the right buttons. I think somebody mm -hmm. said, uh, you know, a, a little bit like Os uh, Oscar clickbait, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it, but it does look like it has a whole lot of, uh, of, you know, at least perceived gravitas in the sense of, you know, what's yes, happening. For sure. So we're going to something a little bit fun and a little bit very dear to your heart uh, from what I understand. <laughs> And this is something that, you know, the first one um, really touched your heart. And I think the second one you're really looking forward to. And that is uh, 
you got to see the first 35 minutes of Inside Eye, which is huge because this is this is an animated this is a, I cannot talk no more. This is an animated film that you want to see on Cinecon. See what did you think, Rosa? Did you like it? Was it fun? I'm a big, big fan of Inside Out, the first one. It's one of my favorite animated films ever. Um, it's easily on my type five of ever animated movies. So it, I'm definitely looking forward to Inside Out too. We've seen the trailers. We know there's new emotions coming in, right? And then mm -hmm. um, Amy Poehler gets introduced on stage and she talks a little bit about the movie. And then she's like, well, we're going to show you guys the first 35 minutes of Inside Out 2. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoy it and you, you get to get a little more um, background and more context of what the movie is going to be about. And man, this, I know I've only seen 35 minutes of it. Um, and, but I, I think in terms of its quality, in terms of its, obviously the animation, but in, in, in terms of its impact, I think it's gonna be up there with the first one because it, it was so well done. So we're gonna be following Riley, right? Who's the main character here who has all those right. emotions in her head. And, but now she's a 13 year old. She's becoming a teenager. She's become, um, has these new emotions like embarrassment, envy, um, anxiety. And there's mm -hmm. another little emotion that makes a little cameo, but <laughs> it was hilarious. Um, it's, she makes a little cameo and they're like, no, you're like 10 years too early. Just go back and, and just go back to where you were and then you'll come back in 10 <laughs> years. Um, and I mean, spoiler alert, I guess, the the little emotion is nostalgia. So she's like, oh, yeah, oh, I remember okay. when I was there. She's like, no, 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 no. You, 10 more years, you come back in 10 years and and yeah, you'll, well, you'll play a part Don't give out everything, Rosa. You, you know, you want to be back next year. <laughs> Dude, she only has, she's only there like for... 10 seconds and that's it right. um but oh, you know what i loved how they they did everything that uh, they they brought us back to the world and then into the world of, of of inside out and the main emotions right you got joy anger you have sadness you have disgust and you have fear and how they're doing and how they're trying to um deal with uh riley who's gonna be shifting and going into puberty pretty much and they oh, they, oh, wow. they show you little clips of different areas from the brain so you know we in the first one we see how a lot of her core memories are for the most part sent to long-term memory like for her to for okay. her to retain those memories but now we're introduced to other aspects of it um, and we see yeah. the little worlds that she's built and she's made friends now. And man, it was so good. We get a, a couple of minutes with the new emotions and what happens between them and the rivalry. So I'm pretty, I mean, I don't think I'll get in trouble for this. You, you can sense it in the trailer as well. You are gonna have a little clash and a little rivalry between joy and anxiety, right? And then eventually you're gonna see how the emotions are trying to figure it out how to coexist pretty much and a teenager right. that that's trying to figure things out as well so <laughs> this, this this was damn i i love those 35 minutes of inside out too and another movie that i'm pretty sure is going to be an academy award nominated um animated movie mark my words just come back to the stream and you'll be like oh my gosh she said here that it was gonna be transformers one and it's gonna be inside out too one of the few animated movies nominated uh for academy awards e dude it was it was incredible man i i was just it's hilarious it's funny we're introduced again to other aspects of the brain um other things that just and and it's as a as a person, you just relate to so many things um, that they are talking about in the movie, right? So you you right. are dealing with different emotions and so on and so forth. But oh, you're also mentally, um, you are going into these different spaces. Like they have a, a, a location where you just 
put in there the things that uh that they lock that you lock away where you keep your secrets pretty much um okay. and and there you keep secrets like things that you don't want people to know that you make or, or things or people or let's say musicians or songs or uh things that you don't want people uh, to know that you like, otherwise you're going to be looked upon as like, oh my God, you're a baby. You're still watching this. Are you still listening to this? And things like that. And we've all had that. Um, I, I remember being like a, I don't know, a teenager who would every now and then would be entertained um, by, I mean, now I'm not embarrassed to admit it, but back in the day, it was very embarrassing to be like a 10 or 11 year old or a 12 year old and be like, oh my God, you like Teletubbies? Are you like watching Arthur? Are you like watching shows that are supposedly <gasps> aimed at a younger audience? Um, right. But we've all had that at one time. Or if you right, listen to right. a music that's mainly like, oh no, this is just for teenagers. Oh, well, yeah, just to be sex. Oh, no, he's got a couple of good songs and you'll be like, oh, okay, I hate it too, or things like that. So again, it's very relatable in terms of um what they decide to to present and the emotions and the situations and all that and dude i can't wait to i can't believe i have to wait until june <laughs> to watch this movie um to watch well you remainder. watched for 35 minutes Rosa. 35 minutes. i want to see how it ends man oh, it just okay. so, so so was <laughs> it just 35 minutes meaning like these are the 35 minutes in or was it 35 minutes like sprinkled? Like, it was like, well, no, 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 no. I was the like first it's a Sunday. Minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did they put some uh, bow in it? Did. Did, did, you know? Did they... <laughs> no, it's the first 35 minutes porque no, they showed us the logo, the introduction, the music, the intro, um, y todo eso. So it is the first 35 minutes of the movie. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, it, it looks like it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. I know you are going to. Uh, really love it. I'm sure the kiddos will love it too. Um, and from what we see, this was Amy Poehler coming out. She basically just introduced, right? Because she's the voice is the main character, correct? Yeah, she voices uh, Joy. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, any any nuggets from that or something? A anything else or just a presentation, basically? The shake yeah, hands. Yeah, Did you guys just... high five at afterwards? Did you give her a hug? You know, um, just like you see them, and <laughs> you see the picture so far away, and the I know, up there, right? like in the, the that's away. where I was too. You know what? I, I, what was actually interesting, and I mean, I, I didn't take any pictures, but oh, they told us for the most part, majority of the presentations, all the way up to mm -hmm. the Disney one, they would tell us no pictures, no nothing of the presentations of the actors, of the logos, nada. For Disney, however. They told us you can take pictures of the logos, you can take pictures of the celebrities and the presenters and whatever's gonna happen. You just cannot take video or pictures of the footage that we're gonna provide you. So we couldn't take pictures okay. of, uh, of of the 35 minutes or the Planet of the Apes 13 minutes that they showed us. Um, so that we couldn't take pictures of. So now you're gonna see a bit more pictures there. Um, because they yeah. they actually gave us permission to do it, and it was pretty pretty cool. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I see what you're doing. Oh, cool. Oh, look yeah. at that. Yeah. So I think this is going to be a, a thumbs up uh, recommend. It's uh, so it's how many chilaquiles out of five chilaquiles? Uh, dude, you know what? I love this so much. I will give it a five. Five out of five, man. It's, this is like it six chilaquiles because she got one extra for five. later. Six out Correct. of five. Six chilaquiles mm -hmm. out of five. That is awesome. Oh, well, thank everybody for uh, hanging out with us. So many mm -hmm. in the chat right now. Uh, we've got still more to come. Rosa's got Just like, oh, minutes. man, there's so many things that she's she's going to take out. But I, I've been neglecting the chat. So, Rosa, let's say hi to some of the folks in the chat. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let me go back and see what, because uh, I think a few people popped in. If my computer is still, you know. Complaining from uh, uh, from uh, being, you know, smile you know what's up to, yeah, the smile discussion. I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> you know, so we got sex in the house. Hola, Maple, que pasó? Hey. We're here with Rosa. All right, and we got uh, Syfax, I think, also in the house. Up, up, up. We got awesome El Equalizer. What's up, Holmes? 
So uh, who else we got? We got Sanders up in here, up in here. We have, let's see who else. I think we got, I think we got Polly. Polly's lurking. It's like, you know, don't, don't nuke my mm. channel, Holmes. You know, uh, but you know, he did send you a message, Rosa. He said, go Rosa, go. So go Rosa, go. Just wants me to go, spill Rosa. all the, like, all the shenanigans. <laughs> right? It's like, let us know about the shenanigans. I don't know, it's like Rosa, Rosa, rap, Rosa, Rosa, rap. And we got Daniel T. What emotion would Disney turn Polly into if they put him in Inside Out? Ooh, ooh. Rosa, I leave it to you. The Inside Out expert. Hmm. Let's see. Huh. Ah. What, what, what emotion would uh, Disney turn Polly into? Uh, that's tough. Yeah. I don't know. I think it'd be a mixture of several of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Eagle Archer says Polly is lurking, so 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 watch out. <laughs> Keep that. Yeah, don't, 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 don't listen to that. That's just so tough. Oh, Lord. Oh. I don't know. Do, 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 is passionate an emotion? Well, I think it is, right? What is this? His passion. He's yeah, missed it. Yeah. Uh, At least saw it a little bit when we were talking about Gladiator. And he's like, I don't care about the bogus entrance. Yeah. I don't care about this. Tell me about this. And I'm like, yeah. I said hey. passion. Passion. There you go. Polly is a passion there. I hope that answer. Send us a super <laughs> chat if you guys agree. And we got Richard A says, come to the Millennium Bar tonight, Rosa. Oh, yes. And, uh, Polly you're, sent me the, you're, you're the, 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 the intel. We'll see. All right. So we got Tim Talks uh, joining us also. It says, uh, where's Mr. Slant? Mr. Slant is on his way uh, to a premiere right now. And uh, it's uh, it's going to be a good one. So look out for that uh, premiere probably later on today. It usually does out of the theater reactions. So I think it's going to mm -hmm. be um, it's going to be super fun. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, but also be on the lookout for Super Rosa Para. Um, I'll mm -hmm. post her link in the chat in one second because uh, we got some other stuff to talk about. And that is, uh, let's see, we go into this one. And do, 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 boom, production. Marvel Studios' Kevin Foggy comes out to discuss the Fantastic Cuatros. What do you know about this, Rosa? You tell me now. Yeah, so there's this little thing called Marvel Studios, right? And this little ah. guy named Kevin Feige, he came out to talk about it. And, um, I was like, oh, God. He's lo conoces, eh? Right? <laughs> no, so I was surprised, actually, that he was there. But, no, he, for the Fantastic Four, he just said that it was in, um, it was going to start production, of, if I'm not mistaken, and it was going to be released in theaters July 25th, 2025. And again, just reconfirming the people, the cast um, that's going to be part of the movie. So he didn't give us much intel on the movies. Just, mm. yay, just keep an eye. This thing is coming out next year. And another movie that's currently um, shooting is obviously Thunderbolts. We've seen clips and videos of Florence Pugh um, walking around the uh, the set and, and and making these clips. I haven't seen the videos, but I'm, I'm aware about them. And we also got a clip from Florence uh, Pew at Cinema what Con. The, you're jumping. You're jumping. Rosa. Yeah. You're, you're jumping. This I'm is jumping. A fantastic floor. Just well, give the thing us is, fantastic they didn't, floor. They didn't, they didn't give us much, much intel other than, hey, Pedro Pascal is going to be this, Vanessa um, Kirby is going to play this, and Joseph Quinn is going to play that, and the movie's released in July 25th, 2025. That's exactly what they told us. <laughs> so basically, you're saying that they just gave you everything that, that we, we already, already know, basically. Correct. Right? Yeah. There's no nugget. There's no, no twisting Rose's arm to see if anything. You didn't mm -hmm. see, like, you know, try to get on there's stage no, and steal Pedro Pascal's chones or something. Nothing like nah, that. Nah, no, nah, no, nah. no, 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 no. All right. So then we see Kevin Feige right here, and he's really tiny, tiny, tiny Kevin Feige on the little bottom. If you see him yeah. right there. Yeah. Okay, there he is. And uh, he's out there, and he, he's right here. He's right here. Hola. So Kevin Feige, 
and Fantastic yeah. Four is coming July 25, 2025, and that's all Rosa can tell us or can't. You? Well, that's all, that, that's all he said. Otherwise, I, I would. That's all he said? I would spell the beans. Oh, yeah. man. See, here I here come up with a banner and everything. Say, Polly <laughs> put work into it, and that's all we get? All right, well. All yeah, right. that's all we got. <sighs> okay, guys. All right. So next is now you can talk about this one. Okay, I'm trying to jump the gun and all stuff. Yeah. Jump the thunderbolt. I'm sorry. As we say, it's okay. It's all, it's <laughs> all right. It's okay. My bad. It's okay. Um, so okay, now I'd we be have the thunderbolt. We have a picture of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, well, actually, I don't, the only thing I think I found is I think uh, Florence Pew, Pew Pew Pew. Mm -hmm. Um, talking about it, I just have it. It just, oh man, because I like, I was like sending because everybody was like posting all kinds of stuff, and I'm like mm -hmm. sending it, and then I figured out, hey, wait a minute, I'm sending it the wrong way, and then it wouldn't take, and I'm like, oh man, and then it's like, so I think I have it now. Let me, uh, let me pew pew, uh, the pew, and uh, the flow, <laughs> and the flow, the flow, go with the flow, and the Oh, with the flow. Flow. <laughs> it's fluoride florence pew 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 yeah. oh let's see if she comes up as so uh, she's all uh, all right let's see all right we're gonna finagle this and we're gonna put her up on stage and boom she's on stage uh but mm -hmm. okay let me get some audio uh make a big afternoon and i'll see you next time Okay, so let's see. CinemaCon, how are you doing? I'm so gutted that I'm not there to say hi, but I'm on a night shoot on the fantastic set Thunderbolts, eating my macaroni cheese and spicy sauce. And I'm sending you my love, but I hear Kevin's with you, which is kind of just as good, if not better. Hi, Kevin, how you doing? I hope you have a wonderful afternoon, and I'll see you next time. That's it. Um, right. Yeah, Kevin... Kevin was again similar to Fantastic Four, just telling us, "Hey, Thunderbolts." Um, I'd be interested to see if we can get a picture of the of the Thunderbolts um, of the of the of the yeah, image. I thought I had it. Let me let me go. Let me look that up. Yeah, stick it out. Porque... It didn't. Uh... I'm pretty sure someone took a picture. I didn't take any oh, pictures because I figured you know somebody what? else was gonna do it. And I'm like, you know what? I'll use somebody else's picture. I'm gonna continue to try to type and get in as much info as possible uh right but um yeah what was interesting is that yeah you you have the image out there he he just announces again the release date of the movie who's part of the film he lets us know that it's currently um being and it's currently shooting and that it, it will release on i believe it's may 5th 2025 if i'm not mistaken Mm, for that okay. one, what's interesting is um, if you can see the picture or not, there it's it's called Thunderbolts, and then there's mm -hmm. an asterisk right after the S. And he oh, yeah, said, yeah, I see that. he said Thunderbolts has an asterisk, but I'm not going to explain what yeah, it, it remains is. Remains an intriguing asterisk, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna say what it is until it releases. So now I'm wondering okay. what does that mean? <laughs> and now I'm 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 just making speculations here. Like are yeah, you y'all see it? Is, is this gonna be shooting or not? Like is yeah. this the thing and it's an asterisk because of what? What's what 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 what's going on here? That's the only thing about that. Right, because you see the asterisk on it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he made a point to okay. to to point it out. He's like, yes, there's an ash. That's an asterisk. Uh, he's like, but I'm not gonna say what it is or anything until the film releases. Huh? Yeah. And that's that's weird. Okay, so that's kind of like the the Easter egg that they were going with. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the Easter egg is that there's there's okay. It's uh, the Easter egg is that. Oh, there's an asterisk. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. We, we don't make the news, folks. Real quick. We just uh, we just report on it. I guess it's it's that's weird though. Um, what did you take away from it, basically? 
I don't know. To me, it's more of a it might or might not happen kind of thing, even though they are shooting and they are, or maybe a potential mm -hmm. change of the title. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That that's the first thing that comes to my to my head when I see that asterisk. Like there's something right. to it because that's the purpose of it, right? <laughs> right, right. That yeah. there, there's 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 something to. I mean, I'm assuming the title. Um, it's either gonna change or it's either. I have no idea, to be honest. I don't know. What 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 do you oh. interpret? I mean that I don't know. I mean, do you know anything about uh, the the basically the what they are basically the thunderbolts mm -hmm. in the comics um they're basically like the the rogue villains that um the government uses so it's basically marvel's um suicide squad okay uh, correct me if i'm wrong chad i wasn't big on the thunderbolts uh and the name is the thunderbolts my understanding is because that's uh if you remember the first hulk you know, uh, the Thunderbolt was the general, and he's the one that uh, kind of started this whole uh, uh, super soldier, like the continuation in the first Hulk of how they got the Hulk was part of the, um, you know, he was, he's the general. And it's his band of merry villains that saved the world type deal. So maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe this is a, one of many, I don't know if anybody in the chat has any ideas. Um, so, hmm, I don't know. Let's. Uh, that's 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 different, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, I, I think we're we're stopped on that one. Kevin Feige, you stopped us. So um, darn you, Kevin Feige. Uh, How dare you? But uh, right? How dare you? But the next one, I guess, is where we're going is, uh, you know, is this one right here, which is the um, the Captain America uh, Brave New World. Did mm -hmm. uh, What did you guys see of this? I guess uh, uh, Mackie was out uh, on it, and uh, he's the one that introduced it. Uh, mm -hmm. And somebody, uh, I think, shot some video or something on it, but uh, it didn't, uh, of course, it doesn't want to come up. But uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if they uh, if they uh, capture that. I was trying to bring that up, but that didn't come up. Maybe somebody already took it down. But the time I tried to grab it, um, mm -hmm. but it, so basically, I think what I had is just you know um, him coming out and and. Um, I guess introducing uh, the movie like uh, like small little ants because you know everything's tiny. This 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 thing was yeah. big, huh? Yo, All that right. screen is huge. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it's very that must have been cool. Yeah. Okay, so what uh, what's uh, what went on here? I mean, obviously he's talking about a lot of stuff. Boom, Captain uh, mm -hmm. Captain America. Um, Brave New World comes up, and uh, Kevin Mackey comes out, and he's like, yo, what's up, Rosa? And you said, yo, Mackey, my boy, sell yes. it. Just like that, man. Damn, were you I there? Like, How did you know? You know, sometimes I even scare myself. <laughs> <You're funny. Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so Anthony Mackey comes out, and he starts uh, talking about the movie. Um, for a bit, uh, sharing that it's going to be released, you know, Valentine's Day 2025. And yeah, he we were able to see some footage from the movie. We see like a good two, three minutes of footage followed by a trailer. And we see an interaction between him and, and, and I mean, spoiler alert, but we know he's in the movie, right? Um, Harrison Ford. Right. And there's right, right. this back and forth. Uh, yeah. And then all of a sudden things, um, something happened and there's chaos. And you can tell there's this, the politics that it's so infamous and intricate to the Captain America movies, right? Um, this is going to be no different, at least from what we watched. And yeah, we then go ahead and see a trailer of the film, the action sequences and 
um, Harrison Ford's uh, um, his his involvement in it, but also we see we hear um, Harrison Ford asking. I mean, I don't think this is going to be a spoiler. I, I've seen it out there, but I mean, this is no, it shouldn't be any, um, anything that's like, oh my God, you ruined my life. Uh, but we see, we hear Harrison Ford asking Anthony Mackie's character, hey, can you help me um, bring back or, or, or an assemble a new Avengers, right? Um, oh, okay. I mean, we know we're getting Avengers movies and all that, so it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that surprising. And yeah, from there we we get a lot of action sequences, and we see some interactions that are compelling and very intriguing. And there is a specific line that's said to um, to Mackie's character that it, it it hits him really hard, and I'm pretty sure you can imagine what it is. It's regarding Captain America and so on and so forth. Right. So it, it's it's quiet. I was like, ooh, they put this in the trailer. They're definitely gonna be um, trying to get people to watch this movie. Um, but oh, you know what? It was good from what I saw. It looked interesting. There was uh, action sequences, and they were anything, everything you expect from a Captain America movie. And yeah, the the trailer delivered. I, I wasn't necessarily blown away by it. Um, it right. is a Captain America movie. Um, so, but I think it did a good enough job to be like, okay, I'll consider <laughs> checking okay. you out. No, like, okay, but didn't really back. blow you away. No, okay. no, no, no. I didn't know. Okay. Now, how did, how did you, because I know people are talking about this. They say that this kind of compares to Winter Soldier. And did mm -hmm. you like Winter Soldier? Was that one of your, I know it's a favorite of a lot of folks, including myself. Yeah. How, how is it, they say this is kind of comparable to that. Did you see yeah. any of that? I can see. Yeah, I can see how we can compare to it. There were some uh, callbacks to characters, situations, scenarios, circumstances. And yeah, the, the vibe, the, the, the feel to it, the ambiance of it all. Yeah, I can see why people are comparing it to Winter Soldier. Yeah, okay. it's not so necessarily like my favorite. Uh, Captain America isn't necessarily my favorite MCU character. And I know a lot of people consider The Winter Soldier one of the best MCU movies. But again, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm <laughs> I, I tend to have different tastes. Uh, I'm not necessarily one of those people who is like always claiming the same movies that everybody does, like The Godfather and Gladiator. Uh, <clears throat> Or, or, or things mm -hmm. like that, right? I, I tend to be very, I have my own unique taste. And um, Winter Soldier, yeah, it's a good film. Uh, I don't, it's not one of my favorites personally, but mm -hmm. I, I, I do <laughs> understand the comparisons to, to the movie. It definitely does feel like it. Yeah, Blasphemy All Around by Rosa Parra. As uh, <laughs> she. I'm going to get that. I already know. That's it. Hashtag, hashtag cancel Rosa. I'm yeah, starting it right now, actually. So, so, uh, Go but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Eagle Arts has said, I don't know how, um, Anthony Maki made a fun Falcon. I cannot buy him as Captain America. Yeah, I think a lot of people had that same. It, it happened in the comics for a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. so, I mean, I can understand what they're trying to do. It, yeah, it's not everybody's cup of tea, uh, including Rosa's. Um, I'm not going to give specifics, but that is addressed in the clips that we saw. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, now, now she drops the nuggets. See, she has to go off camera. She has to go off camera to. to that's <laughs> like that's, that's right. That wasn't Rosa. That was that was that was my icon that said that. That was Lola. That's the picture of that my Lola, a, actually. She's a little That's too Lola? Old. That's my Lola. Oh my gosh. You're so Mexican. It's like you gotta have oh, a hell yeah, I am. It's like it's so 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 ridiculous. I can't. Yeah. It's like ah yeah, yeah. Ah, Rosa, what are we gonna do? But uh <laughs> So off to the next one we got. Um, all right, so this one is something everybody's waiting for, I guess. You've got nine minutes 
mm-hmm. of uh, of uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, right? Is this footage that anybody kind of kind of clipped or something that you have seen in the you know on the interwebs, or is it something like fresh, basically that you got to see? Yeah, there was a mixture of what we already seen in the trailers. Um, it was in here. This, however, I can't say, oh, yeah, these are the first nine minutes of the movie. It is a little bit of everything. It just felt like a nine-minute trailer, pretty se- um, per, right. per se. But these nine minutes are some of the best nine minutes <laughs> I've ever seen at CinemaCon. Um, I mean, I can say ever, but this is my first time attending CinemaCon. Um, like oh, putting wow. aside the 35 minutes I just watched from Inside Out too, like putting that aside, these nine minutes were just wow! <laughs> it's incredible. Um, it's hilarious. It's just <sighs> okay. Well, let's I don't see. Let's see what uh, what you saw basically. <laughs> let's see what what uh, Kevin Feige came out and said. Good afternoon, everybody. Very, very good seeing you. We're now entering the no teleprompter portion of the presentation. So, <laughs> cheers for no teleprompter. Wow. Excellent. Um, well, I hope you uh, are not sick yet towards the end of your convention of people talking about how much they love movies and movie theaters. Because I'm going to do that a little bit right this second. I love movies. I love going to movie theaters. I love to see movies in movie theaters. That's what we do at Marvel Studios. We make movies for movie theaters because that's where movies belong. That's all we've ever done, and I hope that's all we ever do uh, because I love it. And I love making each movie an event and having the best picture and the best sound. I love the popcorn buckets that are taking over the world. I really do. I love when a popcorn Uh-oh. bucket can capture the zeitgeist and go viral. Um, thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Very, very good seeing you. So I guess that was the uh, Senor Kevin Feige letting us know that they will be a popcorn bucket bonanza. Uh, <laughs> he was just throwing shade at the other studios because everybody else, all the other presentations, Paramount, Warner uh-huh. Brothers, everybody that came out, they would use the teleprompter. Disney didn't do that. <laughs> Disney came out and they had, I'm assuming they had already prepared their speeches and everything. Nobody from Kevin Feige to um, the, everybody that came out, nobody used a teleprompter and not, not even like the mm-hmm. celebrities either. So he's throwing shade obviously at the, at the other studios for doing that. And I guess he was also throwing shade at, at Dune popcorn bucket <laughs> thingies. And, and now saying that, that I don't know if, if it's going to be for Deadpool that they're going to have their own um, design of the popcorn buckets or, or things like that. But yeah, Homeboy came out just spitting fire. <laughs> Dang, he wasn't messing around. Yeah. So did, did you think that, in, in all seriousness, will there mm-hmm. be a popcorn bucket? <laughs> I hope so. You know what? I um, they were giving out some um, bottle of cokes, um, plastic bottle of cokes, and the design they had like Wolverine and Deadpool designs on the cokes. <laughs> so oh, I, cool. I didn't get one because I don't I don't drink soda. But oh, there there's a picture yeah, out girl, there. You could have sold that for like a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, I could have been like, I mean, if I would have known. All around your boy. But yeah, he, uh, it, was, it was pretty neat. So I can already see that. Um, like, I want that necklace. Oh. Like, I need to have that necklace there. Yeah, that's got to, it looks like the merchandise on this is going to be huge. Yes. But also, yeah. I guess the main question of the whole thing is, was that Mexican Coke or was it American Coke? Oh, definitely American. Oh, well, then it's okay. I understand. Why I don't drink I'll drink Mexican yeah, Coke. Exactly. I just want to drink American. Exactly, yeah. That's right. Yeah. If you don't know, now you know. That's all we got to say. There you go. But uh, <laughs> you, you had a good time in this. This is something that you're looking forward to. Yeah. You, you, All the hype is real, basically, right? Dude, it was like nonstop 
just hilarious just banter and it was we 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 got to see uh Wolverine and and and, and Deadpool and mm-hmm. it, it's just there we saw probably like 30 or 40 seconds of them they're riding in the car um and they're just going back and forth at it and I'm like oh my god <laughs> like the entirety of a film is going to be this um, or a good chunk of it is going to be this. And I can't wait, man. I was crying, laughing out loud. It, it, it's just, dude, it was just fucking amazing. That's all I can say. It was fucking amazing. And lucky for what? me, it comes out on my birthday. So, mm. what? Mm-hmm. Everybody, just so you know, she, she likes, uh, you know, Inside Out uh, uh, 2 and, yes. and Deadpool merchandise. You can send it to yes. Rosa. A little necklace Rosa, gotta, would, be, would be very, very Drop, very drop your P.O. box in the chat. <laughs> Everybody will start sending you stuff. Uh, yeah. So this is something that, so it was fun. Basically, you got a little bit of road trip angst. We got some mm-hmm. action. Any heroes or villains that we might not know that are there that were there? Uh, no, they didn't give us any of that. Um, it was just, it was a good chunk of it was Wade when we see, we see it in the trailer too. Um, when right. he's having that birthday, right? He's having a birthday party and mm-hmm. he's talking, um, to every person that's there. And it's just those right. little moments where he's just making the most random type of conversations. Okay. And, then, and then we see where the, the note or, or, or the, the, the quote of, Hey, I'm used to what is it called? I forgot what it what it was. Um, but Disney is in, and then obviously breaks the fourth wall, looks at the camera, and winks. Um, and when you see, when you hear it and you see it in context, it's far more hilarious. So it, it's just again the funniest shit I ever seen at CinemaCon. Wow. Yeah. And, and that was and, just. Um, like, like, Darn right, so then you were just enjoying yourself. It's like you even forgot probably to take notes or anything. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah I'm, like, I'm just having a great time. And yeah, I Rose is no like, yeah, to... what notes? Forget notes. <laughs> well, forget this. <laughs> yeah, forget notes. Notes, notes, notes are for losers. You don't need those. Notes, we don't need <laughs> no stinky notes. Um, yeah. So this, obviously, guys, this is going to be a a complete hit, uh, according to Rosa. Um, and, uh, I, I don't know. There's, I guess we got some questions. Um, no. so let's see, uh, Kevin Davis has Deadpool and Wolverine will be uh, Marvel studios first 1 billion since 2019. Do you agree with this? Rosa? Do you think that's, <sighs> I don't know. It's definitely going to uh. be R rated. And I don't right. know if being R-rated is going to slightly, um, if, if it's going to probably hold it back a bit. Mm. But, oh, I mean, from what I saw, do these first nine minutes, I would go out of my way and say, you know what? I would not be surprised if it does make a, a billion. Okay. I would not be surprised. Okay, let's see. We got Daniel T asking, Deadpool and Wolverine has a popcorn bucket. Alien Ramos has a popcorn bucket. Where are the aliens attached to you? <laughs> That's oh. funny. That's funny. Yeah, you, you could be right. Rosa is polite as the equalizer. Fair reviewer, but if she ever says <laughs> a movie sucks huge, oh, that has to be the worst film ever made. Rosa, do you care to elaborate on this and do you agree with this statement? Um, I, I can see how I can come across as being just very nice, not trying to uh, be sh- shit on films or anything like that. I don't know. Maybe it has a little bit to do with the fact that I do have a couple of friends who are filmmakers who are involved in the industry and I see how hard it it takes to make a movie and all the hard work and the collaboration and the camaraderie and everything that goes into it. Um, I can bet <laughs> anything that no filmmaker goes into production 
thinking and assuring themselves, hey, I'm going to make the worst movie ever. <laughs> and that 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 sometimes, hey, it takes it's a group effort, man. And, and it takes a very special type of connection and a special type of, of 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 work of group work to come out with the that's why masterpieces are very rare um because it does take a lot of work and it takes and and when you do get them like for instance some of christopher nolan's movies he works with the same people over and over again so i i try to be as lenient as i can with movies i don't try to shit on them and so on and so forth but yeah, every now and then when the movie is pretty, pretty bad, um, <laughs> like Madam Web, I just can't just, I, I, even I, I can't like, say anything. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, yeah, I just yeah. can't. I'm like, all right, I, I have to say what I think. And, and yeah, so, so I can see how <laughs> that, that, that statement can be quite, eh, yeah, quite accurate. <laughs> All right, so uh, if you guys are just catching us now, we got Rosa Parra, super reviewer, uh, latinoslant.com. Please subscribe to latinoslant.com. Subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell. Uh, send us a super chat, PayPal link, like, whatever you guys want to do. Support the channel. Make sure you uh, subscribe. Also, you can hit that notification bell so you will be informed when the next video is coming out. Uh, this is the final day. I think Rosa is over there in Vegas in CinemaCon. And we're uh, basically sharing everything uh, that has happened so far. We do have a couple of more things that she has covered. And uh, one of them uh, is this right here, which is the what we were talking about earlier. The little yeah. alien that could. The alien Romanless footage. Now, this is, we've seen it uh, like a teaser trailer of this. Yeah. Is that what you got or you got something a little spicier? Yeah, we got a little bit more. Um, we got a, a, a clip. I think it was a good two, three minute clip. I mm. knew that was Isabella Merced. I knew I recognized her. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, Isabella Merced's on it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I know my people. Yeah, it's <laughs> so yeah, it follows this this uh, groups of people and they're in this um ship or spaceship, whatever it is. And yeah, something happens. They they're trying to run away from a creature, and then a couple of people are. Um, 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 I'll say they. I don't. I haven't even seen the trailer, so I'm not even sure if I'm spoiling anything or not. But uh, okay. they 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 go through a very gruesome and quite. Um, I, I generally had to turn away a few times <laughs> for what was okay. happening, but. Uh, one or two characters do have a very gruesome demise, uh, demise, and it was oh, it was it was quite terrifying to horrifying to look at. It just gave me the chills by uh, like it was horrific to watch. And again, I'm talking about the situation and the scenarios and how these people are dying, not the right. quality of the movie or the quality of anything. Um, um, right. I'm just talking about the and man that looks brutal in the best way possible oh wow yeah the it's... best way possible there you yeah, go yeah, 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 for sure. not brutal like oh my god you guys are gonna go into the worst movie of all time no that looks like i turned away once or twice because i was like oh, oh wow yeah it was like bone chilling and goosebumps and uh, inducing i know manches it was pretty 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 out there Dang, when you know the No Manches comes yeah. out, you know that it's for real. Yeah. Oh. Life so basically what you're saying is that this could be a contender for, you know, one of the best horror of the thing. You think this might bring back the franchise? I think so. Um, I've seen the first one. I saw, I haven't seen the, the all the movies, to be completely honest with you. Mm -hmm. But it reminded me a lot of the first one, to be honest with you. Um, okay. Uh, the creature and uh, what the creature does, and <laughs> uh, what happens to some of the people uh, and the creatures, and uh, yeah, it, it's very reminiscent of the first one, in my opinion. But mm -hmm. yet again, I haven't seen all of them, so I'm very, I'm being very, um, uh, giving you a very skewed opinion on it. Right. Right. So.
you know, you, you want to guard kind of what's going on and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. But us at the same time, uh, you know, don't want to spoil it for anybody, any of the fans. Right. Uh, but to, in, in your opinion, this this is something that has legs, knowing that you're not a big horror buff. I know a lot of people mm -hmm. are, the, the, I think it's mixed. I think that's why um, they might, a lot of stuff might be writing on this because I think it's kind of like, you know, younger cast. They want to kind of revitalize it. So you want to say, hey, is this going to have legs? According to you, uh, you know, would this be like a good revitalization of the franchise? Do you see these characters moving forward, maybe carrying the torch? Oh, definitely. I can definitely see that. I, I, I see this having um, legs and being one of the good, best movies of the year. Uh, from what I saw, and then I'm, I'm assuming also you cannot 100% believe everything they tell you, right? Because after all, they are right. trying to sell their product. But oh, yeah, the guy that came out to introduce the film, he did mention that they showed it to Ridley Scott, and Ridley Scott was like, This is fucking amazing. So, for to have the director of the original have your the, give the stamp of approval, I'm pretty sure it must mean something. Okay, and and so do you saw, think it's available? Or, yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, and from what we saw, I'm like, yeah, I can. I might turn away a few times because some of those scenes were a little. Ugh. And anything that has to do with body horror, it gives me like, yeah. ugh. Anything coming in or coming out of your body out. that is not necessarily an outlet. Um, <laughs> and it's just like coming out. Like I'm just like, oh. Whatever, Rosa, but yet inside out, the, the name itself should be, but <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Yeah. I see so what now, doing. wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you think yeah, it's, yeah. This, do you think it's a Vela Merced is the next, um, um, mm. Helen Ripley? I mean, do, do you think she's the next Sigourney Weaver in this? Is this going to launch is a Vela Merced in, in Sigourney Weaver territory? I don't know, porque what they showed us was just the clip of them going through something and having to deal with a certain situation. I wasn't given context of who are the people, um, who are your main characters, or anything like that. So I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. And I haven't seen the trailer, too, so también that might be a little iffy. Okay. All right. So, uh, all right. Let's see. Next one we got coming up is uh, one that I've uh, heard a lot about, but um, mm -hmm. don't know much. So let's see. We got Mufasa the Lion King. Um, yeah. That's going to be, uh, that's going to be, uh, you know, a lot. This one, it's, it's like a live, right? It's like a live uh, uh, representation of, of the, of the movie, kind of like the, mm -hmm. the second one, right? It's, it's not an animated. Right, it's a quote-unquote so, live action, I'm assuming, yeah. It's live action CGI. <laughs> what do they call <laughs> it? Is this live action, you know, computers instead of drawing? Or, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> I guess that's what it's going to be. Um, but uh, it's, uh, you got to see, uh, go away. <laughs> I'm trying to bring that up, and it's not. Uh, all right, here we go. Okay, yeah. I succeeded. Woo! Mm -hmm. of the Lion King. Uh, I guess it's uh, coming to theaters. I mm -hmm. like that they say only to theaters because you know they're selling it to theaters, like letting you know, hey, hey by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I mean they're they're also talking to uh, the theater owners and the exhibitors, and they're right, like, hey, right, right. they're gonna give it to you guys hey, only. We're not we're planning to it put to it guys on. Screen. Yeah, yeah, don't uh, don't think we don't we we don't like you. We like you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, can you tell us something about uh this one? Yeah, so apparently it's gonna be the story, the origin story of Mufasa and how he ended up um his journey to becoming pretty much the Lion King, right? Um, right. and according to Barry Jenkins, like he he came out, he talked a little bit about it and. It reminded me a lot of the conversation and, and the position and scenario that him and Lee Isaac Jung, um, Jung who is 
directing Twisters, um, they both started doing um, indie movies, right? So they started with smaller mm -hmm. scale movies. And then all of a sudden, you are doing all these huge, big budget studio movies. And he said that when he initially uh, was given the script for a Mufasa movie, he was thinking about um, his his early years because apparently he he also gave a little anecdote of how he started um, in the movie business. He said he he was working for an AMC uh, cleaning and, and and so on and so forth, and that he would also uh, spend a lot of time with his two nephews and they would always be watching the lion king so when he was um, given the opportunity to do this movie he jumped on it because of course they they're, they're ha he has a connection with the lion king movies um but also because he wanted to tell the story of Mufasa, who obviously becomes um, the one of the most iconic characters in cinema history, to be honest. Um, and mm -hmm. he wanted to do it in a manner that would feel, um, he would give it importance and he would give it meaning and value. And it wouldn't feel just like another movie, big budget movie for the sake of just big budget films. Um, he wanted mm -hmm. to give it heart and he wanted to give it, um, he wanted to do more with it. And that's why he said he took up on the challenge. The The footage that we, uh, that we got to witness was, yeah, very similar to the, <laughs> again like you said live action quote unquote in quotations right. um movie of the lion king we just see lions here and there but oh this one feels slightly different um you can tell there's more attention to detail there's more attention to the environment there's more attention to um the landscape of it all it feels more real it might not be and and i can see um the argument of the live action or animation and so on and so forth. But on this one, it, it, you can already tell that it's being treated with more care, with more, um, they're, they're putting a lot of attention to detail in this one. We, we saw a little bit of the lions here and there, but we didn't get a, a specific story um, or, or anything like that. We, we don't see like these big um, pieces of dialogues or any narration or anything like that. So, but what we saw, I'm like, I'm like, okay, I, I see, I see. I, I, I know we were talking, we opened the, 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 this conversation, the streamer with Gladiator and people feeling a little tired or just worn out of right, <laughs> franchise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But oh, this one looks, it, it looks way different than what we got the live action. Well, who directed that one? I think it was John Favreau, right? Um, yeah, who did the live action um, Lion right. King? Then this one from the clips that we got, because apparently they just finished um, filming it, and it's just a matter of editing um, okay. the film. But what we got to see, I can see the difference already just by the visuals. Huh. I know I just said and, the same thing like three times in three different. Yeah, no, no, no. But it's <laughs> it's cool. So basically, what you're saying is that. Um, it is something that's that's that is looking like it's going to be it's going to be fun it's going to have a, it's going to have good production value and mm -hmm. in your view you think that this is this won't bring more um more uh, basically sequel fatigue or you know or any kind of like that sequel fatigues or you know uh, because it has it it does have a little bit extra but yeah. i guess what i really really want to know that did, did when he mm -hmm. said mufasa did anybody jump up and goes who who saying it no <laughs> no nobody nobody did that you're telling me you had the opportunity to scream like who 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 said again and, and you didn't do that is that your way of telling me i'm a hyena no no, no. I'm just saying maybe your little chihuahua thing looks like a high thing. Yeah, but, oh. you know, I'm just saying. Don't tell him I said that, though. Do not tell him I, I said will, that. I will. Oh, oh darn it. You're such a snitch. You're such a snitch, man. Such a snitch. I can't believe that. Vas a ver que te va a decir, ah, ha, 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 ha. 
Dímelo otra vez. Ok. <laughs> so we come into hey we come into the, the the one of the last things I guess that you saw yeah. which is uh, Moana too and you had um you had uh, you were introduced to a, a I believe a musical number and you got to see the rock and I guess the first thing that I want to ask did you smell what he was cooking I did <gasps> I most definitely did and I did not like it. <laughs> what? No, like so the 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 this presentation it was interesting porque they first told us okay now we're gonna go into Moana too. They gave us a little montage of people being excited, right? So you get all these news reels, um, these montages of articles and journal um um newspapers and all these headlines of oh my god Moana two is being announced, blah blah blah. So right. then we go on. I'm pretty sure there's a video out there because I, I saw a few people recording this. But after that montage, right. there was people on stage. I'm assuming there were dancers and they were dancing. And then that's when The Rock comes out, right? There's a little dance of his own. And then he starts talking. Oh, no. He danced. He danced, yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, he just started... Um, sharing a little bit about the movie and how i mean in all these presentations it's not necessarily created or it's not put together for us the press or the critics it's done mm -hmm. for the exhibitors and the theater owners so the first thing they're gonna say is like yes you know just like you you saw the clip of kevin feige saying oh yes we love coming to the theaters blah 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 every single person says that every single person that walks onto that stage same speech, same thing. You have to say what they want to hear. Right, right. So he comes out, says that, and then he, um, yeah, he go ahead. He tells us, okay, there's going to be new footage um, of the movie. Just go ahead and enjoy it. Blah blah blah. And then we get a musical number, right, with Moana, all the characters. And I did not like it. Um, and I, I think what's missing here is, and I know a lot of people aren't necessarily a big fan of him, but uh -huh. not having Len Manuel Miranda writing the songs, it's gonna hurt. He's him. not, he's not writing, You're the serious? Songs. yeah. Wow, and hey, you know what? This, this, by the way, guys, if you guys yeah. know Rosa, um. You know, it's a big wrestling fan. So, you know, her saying something like this, this guy, this has extra weight to it. It's got like extra gravitas because, yeah. you know, she's like a super wrestling fan. To say that the rock came out and she was disappointed, this is big. This is huge. This is like, do, 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 do. I mean, her ancestors are, her ancestors are crying right now. That's what happened. <laughs> Rosa, como no te gusta el luchador que salió, ya sabes que. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, man, this is big. Ooh. Yeah, I Ooh. I say it again. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> I, I, I didn't like the I didn't like the musical number. Um it, it didn't if I'm sitting here right now, I cannot remember one single line from that musical number, to be oh, honest wow. with you. I do not remember yeah. the tone, the beat, nothing of it. And you have so you guys honest. know I did find it. But I'm not gonna play it because I think that will copyright strike the, the, mm -hmm. the you know the the live stream because I okay. believe it's already out on um, on Disney Plus kind of thing. So I, so it, it you guys can find it. Um, it's just go Moana to musical. It'll pop right up. Um, and, okay. and it was basically a lot of uh, you know native music, uh, native Hawaiian music, uh, Polynesian uh, drums and stuff like that. And then, right. you know, The Rock comes out, who was born in San Francisco, by the way. So just throw that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, and, man. I didn't know Lin, Lin Manuel Miranda was not, uh, didn't do the songs. No, no, he's not coming back for this. And it's oh, going to wow. hurt it, porque, quite frankly, like what, what makes the first one so special are the musical numbers. Um, I'm, right. not, I'm not trying to throw shade to, to the story or anything like that, because it, yeah, it yeah. is a good story. But it is that you're welcome. It, it's just a basic thing. 
pero now it's become something because of that song and the rock made it something but it's Lynn Manuel Miranda's lyrics that made it that way same thing with shiny or same thing with how far I'll go these songs are just ingraining your brain and they stick there because he has the talent to create those type of songs and lyrics that are very much catchy this mm -hmm. the clip that i saw did nothing for me it just felt like okay it's just another song and then the, the it was followed by a trailer which still did nothing for me so yeah they, this may be i know they wanted to end with with the bang but it felt more just like yeah One it's part. not i don't think it's gonna do well but i may be wrong i may be in the minority here and people may go out and they may love it again this is just one song um i yeah. haven't seen the movie i haven't seen the rest of the songs or no less or not that so right. i may be just over emphasizing or over generalizing an entire film just based on one song so yeah right. Yeah, this was the, the one that was very disappointing. I did not like anything about it, to be honest. Um, oh, and not man. even the rock being in there in person uh, was enough for me to be like, oh, okay, cool. Um, wow. And like you said, yeah, I'm a big wrestling fan. And uh, the fact that I can say, yeah, I was in the same room as The Rock. It's supposed to fill me with joy and delight. and be, I know. My be, sister would have been going nuts. I, I should be fulfilled, you know? But uh, no, it did absolutely nothing. Oh and, wow! But I may be on the minor in the minority with this. Well, yeah. So she's a minority in the minority. Man. Exactly, Double which whammy. makes it Double minority whammy. squared, dude. Minority squared. <laughs> wow. Well, and take that with a grain of sea salt. Uh, these are the jokes late at nights, folks. That's what's happening. Um, you got it. But yeah, she's. Oh man, that's. Uh, so th this was a bit of a shocker for me because I thought you were going to come in full full guns blazing. This is going to be the best movie of the year. But the fact that you did, you weren't impressed, it does not bode well for this. Mm -hmm. uh, for this, I, I mean, I did hear from different sources that it was basically a, a TV show that they just kind of spliced together because they didn't. They're kind of rushing it. Um, and so I, I don't know. So who knows? Well, not having the, your main songwriter, it could be something. So, mm -hmm. but that was uh, mostly it. And now we're going into the final countdown. Miss Rosa, the Rosa, Miss Rosa, Rosa, final countdown. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. So, Rosa, final thoughts, yeah. CinemaCon 2024. This is your first CinemaCon. Um, and uh, what did you think? What were your highlights? What uh, would you do differently if, when you were invited again? Mm -hmm. And uh, what w what's the biggest takeaway? Go. Yeah. Oh, Lordy. You know what? It was, it was really fun. Um, I am normally a very introverted uh believe it or not shy person i am not very quick to go up to people and if, if you're famous or if i know you and i respect you and i follow your work i'm not going to be the type of person that goes up to you and, and and tells you right i'm just very reserved very to myself and i think i would probably work more on that in terms of trying to be more social with other people porque this one this year CinemaCon, i was just I just kept a lot to myself. Um, I was just sitting on my own doing, taking notes and, and so on and so forth. I spoke to a few people here and there that I'm familiarized with, but oh, I think not having that socializing with other fellow critics or journalists um, may have affected me here in terms of learning a little bit more on how to navigate CinemaCon, um, what is out there, what what resources were available for the press, pretty much. Things that I ended up reading for on my own uh, through a, a press media email, right? So I, I think that's something I would have to work on and I would do differently in terms of CinemaCon. Overall, man, I think it was a, a blast. Uh, I did not know what to expect. Um, this is my first con 
ever. I've never been to Comic Con, never done anything outside of film festivals. And man, this was such a, a very memorable experience. Um, I, I had the opportunity to be in the same room with so many people that are obviously the top heads of the industry of studios, of theater chains, of um, exhibitors, distributors. And I think what I take away from this CinemaCon is everything I learned. I had no idea uh, how the industry worked um, in terms of the nitty gritty things and uh, referring to the studios and their relationships with the theaters, but also the relationships with the distributors and how all right. that takes place. It's something that I had no idea about. Um, also some of the, technolo the technology aspects of it, the projectors mm -hmm. and the sound systems and things that I normally don't think about because all I do is go to the theater and watch the end product. I never worry about the process and the making of these movies. And in addition, once uh, the product has been finalized, what it takes to be put into a theater and how many people it takes to make that happen. And it, it, I'm so accustomed to just seeing the end product and seeing the red carpets and seeing the press screenings. Yes, todo. Uh, this was definitely an eye opener to see what happens behind those curtains and, and how all of this happens. And it was quite insightful um, in that sense. The presentations were all, they were all different from one another. <laughs> you, right. you obviously had the bigger studios like Warner Brothers and Paramount and Disney go out of their way and, 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 and do special things. But you also had the smaller ones like Angel Studios or Universal Focus Features. They also were very um, resourceful. But oh, they did their best that they could, <laughs> um, showcasing their upcoming slate. And although we, I just said I love the 35 minutes of Inside Out too, and Disney definitely delivered a great presentation. I think the 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 presentation that stood with me the most was Universal and Focus Features, um, which oh, okay. was the one I we I went to yesterday. And that one was, I think what they did with Wicked was quite literally Wicked. Um, they So what they did for Wicked, it was obviously the last film that they were going to present. And they filled the, the entire um, theater, like where you put your cups, the cup holders, they filled them up with right. tulips. And oh, wow. And every one of us, they gave us a lanyard with the little um, wicked thing. And it's obviously a light, right? That that turns different colors. Yeah, and so, yeah, yeah. so, so on, all, all, all up until the wicked presentation, they turn everything on. So everything goes dark. The light. So all you see are the tulips changing oh, colors. Cool. And the lanyards as well. And I am just sitting here just like in awe. I was like, wow, this is incredible. They went the extra um, extra mile for this. And right. that is going to be a very memorable experience um, for me, at least. E yeah, we That's were awesome. able to take some of the tulips home, the lanyards. They let us take them. E that Visually, that was stunning a stunning thing to be a part of e, what happened also with the with the cast of twisters so you had the director come out <laughs> and then he presents the three main actors you know anthony ramos glenn powell and daisy edgar jones and they're all up in the they're they're on on stage and they're talking about um the work and the experience that they did um, they endured while making the movie, they went literally to Oklahoma and they were filming everything right there. Um, they didn't go on set or anything like that. They were actually out there. And <laughs> what they did were, um, they were like, hey, you know what? Instead of telling them, let's show them. So I'm thinking, all right, they're gonna show me footage. No, so they bring out like these huge fans and they put them at the bottom of the stage they have all these little pieces of papers, I'm assuming, to resemble or give you the, 
the 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 visual that this is the debris, right? So they turn right, on the right. fan and all the wind is going up to them, to the three of them. And <laughs> they're throwing the little papers and then the debris is going to them and they're throwing water. So now they're getting all wet. And then just as the final cherry on top, they have a plastic cow that they just throw um, to them and it just goes <laughs> flying away. And <laughs> it was just such a hilarious um, presentation that, again, is going to stay with me forever and ever. And it's just like, okay, I'm all, I was already sold on Twisters. I'm a big fan of the first one. But also the footage right. that they showed us was quite, was really good. Um, they managed right. to still capture the essence of the first movie, but it'll make it modern um, at the same time. So it was, man, it was very epic and and just, that's awesome it was really good so i oh man, just so much so much that happened that i am very grateful and i again i would not be here without obviously uh the sponsors that that helped um, me come over here and polly suggesting it, it was just a simple suggestion he's like hey are you gonna apply to cinemacon like i've never done that He's like, well, just do it. Let's see what they tell you. And before I knew it, they had a movie and everything. And now I'm here. And now I'm talking to you about CinemaCon. And it's just, it feels so real at the same time. Awesome. Like, it, it feels surreal because I was doing the Disney presentation. And I'm sitting in that press um, area. And I'm looking around me. And I'm like, damn. These are people like from Variety and the Hollywood Reporter and Deadline and just influencers and people with much more um, credibility and outreach than me. But yeah, I'm still here. And it, it just felt very intimidating at first. But oh, at the same time, I'm like, hey, there's a reason why I'm here. So don't don't sell, don't sell yourself short, Rosa. <laughs> don't sell Rosa short. And speaking um, of our uh, 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 sponsors, uh, we're going to yeah. hear from them uh, right now. Latino Slant at CinemaCon 2024 is brought to you in part by The Daily Chela. For La Raza. By La Raza, politics, opinions, reviews, y más. TheDailyChela.com CinemaCon 2024 is sponsored in part by the WDW Pro Channel the quickest growing entertainment news channel on the web with expert analysis on all things Disney and beyond. Check out WDW Pro on YouTube. Excellence in reporting, scoops, analysis, panelists, and more. All right. So uh, final words, Rosa. Uh, yeah. We got, uh, and if you guys uh, want to know, uh, you can find Rosa on the latinoslant.com. And you can also find her on the Twitter X uh, over here at Rosa Reviews with, you know, <laughs> question mark S21. But uh, there you can find her. And uh, any final thoughts? Yeah, no. You know what? I, I came out of this con, out of CinemaCon, just enthusiastic and optimistic on the future of cinema and it did make me want to go watch every movie in the, at the movie theaters just because of, 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 of the hard work that's put into making these movies and the hard work it's put into um, screening them in, in theater. So, yeah, man, from everything I saw and everything that's upcoming, all the announcements, it looks like it's going to be a really, really packed year with great films and what I love was the variety of them from the genre to the budget um, to the studios to the directors to everything and it's it, it, it looks like we're, we're fine it looks like we're finally finally um, at the end of that tunnel in terms of recovering from the pandemic and and, and so on and so forth so yeah man I'm just excited excited for, for everything that's coming up. And they even managed to make me excited for 2025 and 2026, which is kind of weird because I don't like to look that up um, forward into the future, but hey, they managed to do it. 
All right, guys, you heard here first. We got Rosa Parra. She's on her way to uh, probably uh, have some fun later on tonight. And uh, we'd like to thank anybody who stopped by. Please share, like, and subscribe. Um, and uh, look out later tonight. I think Polly probably might be doing it out of the theater reaction. So hit that notification bell to get that. And uh, we're going to, I can't find the outro in the mix. So we're just going to play a little bit of uh, music and all stuff on our way out. Thank you so much. Uh, Rosa, final words. Nada, just go watch movies, enjoy films, enjoy what you like, and uh, go have some chilaquiles with some conchitas and, and a cup of coffee, man. That's no, how you, you do won't it. Regret All right. it. You won't, you won't regret, regret it. it. Chilaquiles, <laughs> slightly sponsored by chilaquiles.com. <laughs> <laughs> We're out. Oh, oh, oh.